Hello there, and a very, very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, it's Monday evening, and it's time for a bit of stress busting on the ZX Spectrum. So hello to you all out there. I see Dave P is already in the uh, the chat section. So hello Dave, nice to see you. The hype uh, starts here. So yes, we've all blasted through Monday. We've got through there with great aplomb, and it's time to forget all about the day's stresses now, and ease back and relax with some uh, 8-bit super duper gaming. So, well, I say super duper, it's me, isn't it? So it's about, we've been doing this for about a, a month now and I'm learning uh, quite a lot with uh, everything. Hi Dave, hello Julie, I'm learning a bit uh, over this month. Seems like I've been doing it a lot longer but it is only uh, a month as we push forward. Hello there Gumdio. So what games are we going to have a look at today? Well I've bunched a few together which we, we might get through, we, we might not but we'll do the majority of them, that is for sure. So we're going to be looking at Escape, a very early game from 1982, a game where you run a around um, a maze and uh, try and avoid uh, dinosaurs. It's a game I played quite a lot as a kid and then one of those ones where um, I forgot all about it and couldn't remember the name of it and a few years back I ran into it so it's good when that actually happens isn't it. Then Gauntlet on the 128k with US Gold. Uh, then a quite a popular shooter called uh, Moon Crester. Hello there Rusky. Uh, then we're going to have a look at another maze game called Oh Mummy from 1984. Not sure how long we'll spend on those four, but Gauntlet we might spend a while on. Uh, then the second half um, games we can spend on a little bit longer. We've got Akari Warriors by Elite in 1988, the outfit that was also responsible for Commando in 1985. I do have a poke on that one, so we might go all the way through. So we might spend a bit of time on Akari Warriors there. Hello Channel Fadge, hello Han Solo. Uh, then we'll look at 4K Race Refueled on the 128K, a homebrew from 2005 from Paolo Ferraris, which are heavily influenced by a pole position, I suppose. Uh, a top-down racer, Badlands, on the 128K by Domark. There was a few games before that, but we'll look at that from 1990. And time permitting, because we're right near the end then, probably, we'll look at quite a curio called Cosmic Kanga, which is a very strange game. Also came out on the Commodore 64, and it's equally strange on that as well. Hi, Tom. Uh, that was by Micromania in 1984. Okay, so the first game we we're going to look at is Escape, um, sometimes called Escape 3D. Uh, essentially, you're a stick man going around a maze. Uh, let's get used to the controls here, but you have to find an axe, and using that axe, crash down a door, and there we go. So the input difficulty level is 1 to 5, and depending on what you pick, uh, determines how many dinosaurs are going to chase you around this uh, maze. Right, I think you've got it. So, hopefully I can do okay here, but if I can't, well, who cares? So, I'm the stick man down the bottom there. Right, let's glance in down, and there's a dinosaur after me already. Right, right, okay. So, the dinosaur's chasing on me. It's a bit like the graphics of Jurassic Park, isn't it? Very, very similar. Uh, now, keep your ears out for an, a, 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 a high-pitched noise, because that, when that happens, that means I've bumped into the axe, and if I press zero, then I can actually um, pick it up. Where is the axe can be anywhere. It's always a different uh, place each time. Right, come on. Where is the axe man? The axe man is back. If you're a stick man wandering around a maze, then comment below. Um, I watch out for dinosaurs. So when we've got the axe, we need to get to that blue door and hack that down. But as of yet, I have not found it. Now, you can hack into this game if you want to learn about coding as well. This is against one dinosaur. As I say, the maximum you could do is five, and then you get a pterodactyl chasing you as well. So yeah, you're quite right, Rusky. It is a 16K game, this one. Played it a lot as a kid, and um, normally I find the axe quite quickly. Where is the axe? Oh man, perhaps there isn't an axe. Perhaps they're gonna, they waited till I do a live stream and then said we're not gonna do an axe. Oh, right. It's around here someplace. The axe is always in a random place. The maze is randomized as well. So you never know quite where it's going to be. You're quite right, the axe is invisible. Right. So we've got a few maze games we're going to look at uh, today. Oops. Man, if you've ever been chased by a T-Rex and got any tips for me, then comment in the section below. Is there any way of scaring them off? Ah, oh, there it goes. Hit naught. Right, I've got the axe. Now, unfortunately, when you've got the axe, you do move a lot slower. But you can drop the axe by hitting naught if you want to. So, Lick has done it again. I think I've done it again. 
and we go through the cyan door and he's completed the game. What are your initials? Well, my initials are NJ. So how about that then? I completed it already. What's the date? Um, today. There we go. Uh, do you wish to save this uh, for prosperity? Um, mm, right, okay. Uh, no. Do you wish to play again? Yes, I do. We'll put it on. I think I've pretty much got the hang of this game now, haven't I? So, uh, Nick, run, Nick, run. That was good advice, which I did. So I think we should put it up to five dinosaurs now. So away we go. Uh, right, so there's going to be five dinosaurs straight away. This is as difficult as it gets. And now it's going to get super hectic. Dinosaurs everywhere. Now look at this mob. Now put yourself back if you was playing this as a kid. This would be absolutely crazy. Oh, look at that. Surrounded by dinosaurs in a pincer movement. Right, uh, yeah. completed live on the stream, I sure did, but I didn't do, I didn't do that one. Do you wish to play again? I, I do. If you say, if you say no, if you say no, it will break into the program, I think. Right. I, I don't know, I don't know how any kid managed to do, do this against five dinosaurs. So we've been chased by a pterodactyl, a T-Rex, a, um, oh, oh man. Five's just, five's just too difficult, isn't it? Right, let's try five again, and then we'll go up maybe in ones and twos, I think. Right. There's obviously a tactic here, which I don't... Oh, there was the axe there. Uh. Right, so I've survived long... This is probably about as long as I would live in Jurassic Park, if that it did exist, but we all know it didn't. Oh, so I'm down a dead end now. I think this game is I think this game is quite quite difficult. So 1982 this game escaped from new generation software. I think a little bit later down the line uh, it did have a sequel but I don't think it was done by the um the same uh people. I mean they don't quite make games like this anymore. If you know any similar ones, let me know and I'll try and track them down for a proper review. So we'll do two dinosaurs this time. We've been chased by a T-Rex, don't know his name, and a Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus, don't know his name either. Actually, I don't think they're called Brontosauruses either anymore, are they? When I was at school, they were Brontosaurus, but I think they put the bones together wrong, uh, and now they're just called a Brachiosaur or was it a Diplodocus? Or one of them? One of them doesn't exist. That that is for sure. Right. So I have reviewed this game, but quite some time ago on the channel. Um, if you said to someone, name as many Spectrum games as you can do, I don't think many people would mention uh, this game. It's quite easy to go down a dead end now. There's only two dinosaurs. Keep moving. Sometimes if you find the axe, it's probably best to try and draw them to the side or something like that. We should have um, we should have put down a goat or something so they could have eaten that instead. But one of those dinosaurs is a herbivore, isn't it? So it's a herbivore that shouldn't really that shouldn't really come after me. All right. Um. Right. Where is the axe? I've only got their word for it. There's an axe here. Hmm. Right. Okay. Right. When I was looking at maze games to do, there were a, quite a few to uh, choose from. So this time we're going for Escape Gauntlet, which is one of the well, one of the one of the one of the big ones, isn't it? Really. Uh, and um, yeah, oh mummy, um, Horace, hungry Horace was a possible, but maybe we can do that uh, tomorrow. Maybe. I'm debating whether tomorrow. I get a bit ahead of myself here. Back to tomorrow, do another stinker stream like we did um, last week, or another like good game stream. Yes. Good, good, good. So I would say this quite early. Thank you to uh, people that have uh, become a member of the channel, because that's gradually picking up. There's about 21 of you now, so that does help the channel continue. Helps me creating games at the rate I am doing. Because I, I think I, I think I put up quite a lot, don't I? Right. Uh, maybe the axe has been axed. Yeah, right. Why, why couldn't I have done that? Right, okay. Do you wish to play again? Yes, I sure do. On two. It's impossible on five, I think you would agree. Did any of you have this game back in the day? I think I had it on some tape with a load, load of others. Might have got it from the, uh, you know, the playground, which was the uh, the gaming shop or back in the day. Do like the different coloured dinosaurs as well, going for blue and red. Um, I think there's some magenta dinosaurs in this one as well. So it's a random maze each time, so you never know exactly where the axe is. Oh, there was the axe there, right, okay. So let's try and detract them. Oops. Where was it? It was round here, wasn't it? Anyway, this this looks like we can go right the way around. So let's attract them over here. I'm using myself as bait. There we go. 
Is there no one else in this Jurassic Park place? They just want to eat me. It was round here, wasn't it? Oh, no, Nicky. Where was it? It was round here. I've got a memory like a sieve. It was round here. Do 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 Now people that just tuned in with my great rendition of the V music might think this is the real Jurassic Park and try and report this as a copyright for me uploading the film. It isn't. It's uh, it's Escape from 1982. Oh. I should I, there must be a there must be a poke there must be a poke for an axe. Oh man. I think this would work good as a futuristic game show. Oh no, he's trapped. Oh dear. I think you're right there, Dave. A futuristic game show would be quite good. Yeah, right. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's go for. I'm no good at. Oh, so one dinosaur I'm good at. Two dinosaurs. Hmm. Five dinosaurs. No hope. So it probably makes sense to have three dinosaurs, doesn't it? Three dinosaurs. Hopefully one of them is magenta this time. I do like a magenta dinosaur. There's no magenta dinosaurs. It's two, two red and one blue. So what have we got? We've got something that looks a bit like a woolly mammoth. We've got a T-Rex. And we've got a, that, that Diplodocus Brontosaur Brachiosaurus type thing again. And they're all intent on eating my brain. Well, I hope they've, they've brought Pat lunch. Red. Uh, evening, evening, Rosie. Thank you, sir, for joining the stream. This is the first game we played so far, and it's Escape, not to get confused with the movie Jurassic Park. I'm currently walking around looking for an axe, so I can actually get out of that that blue door in the top left. Um, I did it when there was just one dinosaur to get, but when there's more than one, I seem to be having a bit of difficulty, as per usual. Oh no! That'd be, oh no, that's not looking good. Maybe I could just hide here. Ugh. Gow, 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 gow. Right, okay, okay. 3D Monster Maze. Now that is a good game, Francesco. I almost included that in tonight's stream. There's a sort of like um, a homebrew version where they put it all in colour. I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've seen um, uh, that. I think it could have been CJ the, the Elephant, uh, Julie. You're quite right. That game, that game CJ's Elephant Antics uh, and CJ and you say was much better on the Spectrum than the Amiga, wasn't it? It wasn't really pushing the Amiga at all. Right, do you wish to play again? Let's let's go for one dinosaur again. That seems to be my current skill set. Right, uh -huh. Greetings, Michael. Thank you for joining me. We are doing the streams. I keep meaning, I keep meaning to do a test of Atari 2600. Get in for now. I've been saying this for weeks. There's other people in the house taking the bandwidth with the football. I think Tottenham are playing later on some other team. Um, if I'm not feeling too tired, I might zip in briefly to do an Atari 2600. Right, there we go, right. Picks up the axe. He's got the axe, see? I've got no problem when I... Oh, dear. This thing's in hot pursuit. Oh, dear. Oh, I went the wrong way. I got my keys mixed up. Yeah, so if I can stay awake... I'd have to stay awake to about 10 o'clock. I could jump in quickly. Yes, yeah, sod spurs. I could jump in quickly. Maybe it, it would be late, 10 to 11. I'll see what I can do. But I do want to test Atari 2600 because I would like to do some more streams if I can do. I would like to do some more streams. Would you like to see some more streams on other systems or would you just happily see in the Spectrum? I know Dave, I think it's you Dave, that said you'd want to see um, Commodore 64. Uh, in particular, I think it was a speedball game. I'd love to do that. And you, you, as soon as you mentioned that, you, you got me. You got me thinking. I'd love to do that. I really would. Because I think, although we're on 360p at the moment, I think um, I think it could take it. I think it could take it. Right. Uh, ha ha. Right. It'd be interesting as well to see if um, a late session there's, there's more people jump in as well. Because I know, I know. I'm glad that all you lot have come in, which is wonderful. Um, People might still be on the way home from work, though, mightn't they? And all that sort of stuff, right? Where's the... I, th was, I thought the axe was there. Oh, man. Right. That's a dead end. The axe is somewhere around here. Oh, look. I didn't have time to pick that up. So if you're being chased by a, a T-Rex, probably just run around the block for a bit until he gets tired. And that's probably the good way to do. Pitfall 2 is a good game. Big C and Hero as well. Uh, I... I Definitely should re-review Hero at some point. It's a great game. I think um, they came out on the Commodore 64, didn't it? As well. I think I might review it on the Commodore 64. Reviewed so many now. I'm sort of like getting. Uh, I'm sort of like getting mixed up. Right. I need to. I need to bring this. Good job. There's not a time limit on this. I need to get this dinosaur right over here, so I can get back through. 
Yeah, Dave, you're right. So I will have to do save states to stop the loading. That's what I was thinking as well. Um, we did that on Final Fight, I think, the other the other day on the Spectrum, and I think uh, we will have to do it because so if we get if we save some save states, we won't have to wait for the thing to load, will we? Which I think is the way forward. Right, where's my axe? He's got the axe. Uh. Oh no, this thing is a little bit too close for comfort now. If I get my keys mixed up, I'm doomed. Uh, this is too close. Uh, see you later, T-Rex and Gator. There were I I sure I sure showed him, didn't I? There we go. Boom boom boom. Tom says, would like to watch Nick play Prince of Persia. That's a good one also. Um, I haven't reviewed that on the ZX Spectrum yet. I thought I had done. Um, I could I could queue it up. I think it's on the list to re review. Played it on the Commodore Amiga and the uh, Sega Mega Drive. It's one of those games that I was really good. I was really good at it on, the, well, I say really good, comparatively back and day on the Amiga. And then when I played it a few years later, I got all completely uh, mixed up. Do you wish to play again? No. And I think it, I think it then will show us the program. There we go. So if you're if you're interested in programming, if you're interested in programming, then this is the sort of thing to uh, look at. Other games which um, you can do this on is through the wall and the horizon tape. A lot of this, admittedly, is gobbledygook to me. But I think those pokes, uh, maybe the graphics, are they? I don't know. Um, of the dinosaurs and stuff. So you know, track this one down if you're into programming basic. Uh, and then you could pretty much see uh, what's what. It's not it's not a particularly long program, is it? There, not a particularly long program for m equals one to five. Good. So that was a bit of that was a bit of dinosaur magic to keep us going on the uh, straight and narrow. Good good stuff. I, I I I did die a few times on that, but in my defence, if you're being chased by a load of dinosaurs in a compact maze, not everything is going to go your way all the time, is it really? Right. So. We're on 128k, I'm still on that, so let's have a go on Gauntlet, and sometimes this loads, sometimes it doesn't, so let's hope for the best here, and it's rather awkward controls on this thing as well, which hopefully it reminds me what those controls are, but Gauntlet was such a huge, huge game, wasn't it really? Yeah. Mm. I am um, Stuart, I have done uh, Jet Set Willy on the live stream, but we could easily come to it again. I think the last time we did it was a Jet Set Willy 2, when I went to the um, I went to the rocket room to take to take off and stuff. Yeah. We could we could have another go on that quite quite easily, because Jet Set Willy is a fantastic game. Ba, ba, ba. Do you like the music? I hope you've got your gauntlet clothes on. That woman's using two saucepans as a bra. Um, that's always a good system. I've never done that myself. Special thanks to Ed Log, it says there. So well done, well done, Ed Log. Right. So it's Gauntlet. Um, right. What am I doing here? One player. I'm the only one here. Choose a player. Well, we got we got four. We got the elf. We got Merlin the wizard. Let's try. Let's try for the mighty warrior because um, he was in uh, Marvel Avengers. So that that that's good. Right. Okay. Right, um, see look, get it on keyboard Nick. So look look at these odd controls. One is up, Q is down, left and right is S and D, fire is Z, oh I'm never gonna remember this. Uh, caps is the um, magic there, brilliant. Wonderful, thank you Dave P. Excellent stuff, that gets me off and running. Nick will eat tonight. Hooray, thank you Dave, appreciated. That Dave just used a super chat and sent me a super sticker uh, which is a uh, hippo or an alligator eating a uh, one up, or is it seven up? My favourite drink. Right. Mm. Uh, Nick, can you do street hassle sometime? Yeah, I could. We, I might do that tomorrow. Actually, street hassle. It's not a stinker game exactly, but um, um, yeah, we could easily do it. Right. Uh, right. Player two. Well, that can be anything because they're not here. Oh my god. This this is like um, let's get that arrow off the screen. We don't need that. Good music in this one. Good music. All right, right. Okay, let's get used to the control. Oh, that's fire. Right. Okay. This is treasure. Now uh, we're going to go down here, and, and presumably there's going to be all manner of evil stuff come and get me. There's evil stuff. Right. Oh man, I'm not I'm not digging these controls. Right. Right. Da, 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 da. Shoot that, because that's where the ghosts come from. 
Right, uh, that's the exit. So each time you need to find the exit, don't overcomplicate it for yourself. I would prefer these keys with Q and A rather than one and Q. One and Q is a bit further up, and I've already got off the first stage. Gauntlet four on the Mega Drive. I think I might have reviewed that on the on the Mega Drive. I think I might have done. Did I? Oh god, it's one of those. I'm getting I'm getting old now. My memory's going. Right. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that key. That was too early. Right, so my strength is ticking down, health is 921. Uh, you can clob a ghost, it seems. They will launch onto you. Now, on the last stream, I think it was the last stream, we uh, looked at um, Into the Eagle's Nest, which is sort of like sort of like this, but with a, um, uh, a, a World War II uh, thing on it. Sorry, I keep pausing, because these controls are so awkward. Right, um, Nick, you should have done the joystick. Well, my joystick's on the way out. Uh, that's not a euphemism. Um, ah, ah, and I don't trust it working. We know if you was in a, a few streams ago, it went a bit iffy on Robocop in terms of it, it, it stopped. Right. What level have you got to this? Did someone say level 12? I glanced up. I'm playing the game and glancing at the comments at the same time. The game is so vast. Well, it had a few sequels as well, didn't it, really? Yeah. Um, it had a few sequels. Um, Street Hustle, I might come to that on the Commodore Amiga at some point, because I think it had, um, I think, right, believe it or not, I think it might have had some sort of like public domain thing on it, but uh, the game is good, but also terrible at the same time, and that's always good fun, isn't it? Good and terrible in equal measure, right. Wrestling games are always a bit iffy on the ZX Spectrum. Um, the worst wrestling game I've covered so far is Popeye 3 WrestleMania. Why was Popeye wrestling? Why was he in galactic space? We do not know. Right. I've been told that that Donkey Kong game I reviewed uh, recently on the Atari 2600. Originally that was supposed to be a Popeye game, uh, but they um, they didn't get the Popeye license, that had to be Mario. So if that hadn't have happened, we would now be playing um, Super Popeye Kart against Bluto and Olive Oil and all that. So, you know, history would have gone a lot different. Right, there's some ghosts trying to get me. Uh, you, you should try going through the wall, ghosts, but they, they haven't thought of that. Um, these ghosts are particularly silly. Right. Uh, right, come on. Gauntlet. So, we played two maze games so far. One's a bit more advanced than the other. Um, this one's by US Gold in 1987. Five years ago, it was um, uh, Escape um, in 1982. Thank you, uh, Channel Fadge. I'm only posting this to distract you. Well, it, well, it worked, because uh, sometimes sometimes in the stream that sort of thing doesn't happen at all, really. So thank you very much. Thank you. As I say, I, I can't emphasize enough how much that does help. Uh, also, as well, it gives me a bit of extra super-duper, super energy, uh, and all that sort of stuff. Right, okay, and I say, um, if, if they work out, then obviously there's gonna be more streams and more systems and all that sort of guff. Oh, there's an exit there, that's good. Right, exit. I was just trying to think what exit was an anagram of. I don't think I don't think it's um, there. They could be playing the Popeye in a parallel universe. That's quite right, Rosie. They quite right. I, that's a parallel universe I don't really want to go to. I don't think right. Right. So this is like a big area. I'm sort of like getting used to the controls now. Take that, you. Take that, you. That's treasure. Right. Each time one of those things comes in contact with you. Oh, that's good. Have we got a key? No. Oh, uh oh. I put myself in a corner, like in Dirty Dancing, no one puts Babe in a corner, but I don't think this book is called Babe. You might call him Babe, I don't know what your relationship is with him, uh, but he's got a big chopper it seems, anyway. Uh, let's get out of here, um, before I get myself into trouble. Come on sir, so, so, we need a key somewhere, there's a key, so, there's a treasure, there's a bag, there's a key, right. Oh, these these guys need to get a hobby rather than coming after me all the time. Look, stop it. Look, 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 leave me alone, as Michael Jackson said. Leave me alone, da 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 da. Da 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 da. It is appreciated, Dave. I, as I say, all the videos, regardless of what you do, what you donate, all the videos will always be free for as long as I can do them. So never feel pressurised, anything like that. But if you can spare some, it's uh, welcome there. So there's no pressure. There's never any pressure on this channel. It's all about fun and easing stress. Good, good, good. I mean, cars are quite expensive, aren't they, really? Uh, imagine if you had a spaceship. Imagine things that would go wrong there. You'd have to replace the hyperdrive and the, the coils and the navigation system and that would be... And could you trust the repairman you took it to? No, you couldn't. 
I don't know how much a rear view mirror costs on the Millennium Falcon, but quite a lot I would have thought. Good. Yeah, Ghostbusters would be a good skin on, on this. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, let's go, go. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. It's appreciated, mate. It is appreciated. Right, okay, off we go. So I don't know, because um, yourself and a few other people said um, I should do these a bit later. If I can get a window, I, I, I would do it. I think it, it might help me in, in, in the long term, because it is, it is earlier than most streams. But I think I think it's quite a nice quite a nice slot, isn't it, really? So you have to wait too much. Hopefully you're still there. Something, a, script, a window's just come up on my screen about antivirus thing. If you're still there, then hello. Or I might be talking to myself all of a sudden. Right, um, uh, good stuff. Hey, top channel and a top blow. Cheers, Nick. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, okay. So, it's a, you know you're in you know you're in a bad state when everything on your Amazon wish list is food. But anyway, uh, let's just it's all about killing ghosts at the moment. Let's kill them. Right, you still seem to be there, so AVG antivirus hasn't won the day. Right, I need to take out this thing here, right? Come on, and now that window's gone now, so we survived that. You never know, I should have turned that off, because you never know how much bandwidth those antivirus things are taking, do you? Or are they going to block something without your permission? Right. I mean, I always think about lots of other skins they can have on these. I mean, uh, Francesco mentioned Ghostbusters, that would be a good one. Uh, I tell you what, an alien skin on this would be great. I get that feeling when I play um, Berserk as well. I don't know if you're familiar with that Berserk game. Uh, a version did come out on the ZX Spectrum. Basically, you're... Um, you're running around a maze trying to avoid uh, robots uh, each time. That would be good for the Atari 2600 uh, stream, I would have thought. Um, good, good. Right. The Liberator. Right, yeah, I mean, let's get a mental note on that one. But yeah, but alien, an Aliens version of this would be quite good. I suppose there is an Aliens version, isn't there? But on the Amiga called Alien Breed. Um, alien Breed would have been... A, I don't know if you're familiar with that game on the Commodore Amiga, but that would have been great on the uh, ZX Spectrum. This is the bit where someone says, tells me there's a homebrew. Uh, good evening, Chono Baggy. Thank you. I hope you're having a good evening, sir. And, um, well, you've got through Monday, haven't you? So well done, you. Um, we've only looked at one game prior to this one this evening. That was Escape by New Generation Software in 1982. Quite an early one. Right, so as I batter my way on Gauntlet through here. Bam, bam, bam. Right, I mean, you need to, it's alright shooting these ghosts, but you need to shoot that little house where they all generate from, or otherwise you'll be, well, you're going to hide into nothing, really. Right. Um, this game is probably a lot more fun in uh, multiplayer, because then you can shoot each other and have a bit of a laugh there as well. Uh, there's an elf and a wizard, and he hasn't got his own elf club, but there's a few other, other things you can do also, right. Clobber, clobber, clobber. So, you know, the difficulty level on this is quite is quite nice. You're not dying straight away. Uh, my health's down to 800. But if you do come into contact with the ghoulies, the ghoulies, I should say, oh dear, ah, then, uh, then you'll be okay. See, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the problem with uh, live streaming, really. If I said something, bye. Alien Syndrome. Is that on the specy? I, I think I've reviewed it on a few systems. I don't think I've reviewed it on the Spectrum, though. I don't, I don't think so. Right, we seem to be... Oh, they're firing back at us now. That's no fun. I liked it when they weren't firing back. Uh, were they firing stuff? Or was that just my imagination? Imagination. Right. Um, oh, they are firing stuff. They're firing fire at me. Fire. Du, du, du. Oh, right, oh, oh. right, now, there's a bit of food there. A bit of food is always good. And this is this is the point where it gets quite tricky. So for the Spectrum game, this is scrolling really well, isn't it? Really, I'm impre I'm impressed with this one. Um, I don't know if the 48k version scrolls just as well. I presume I presume it does. Oh, we've been this is worse than Horace and the Spiders. The way I've got surrounded there. Uh oh, he's been electrocuted in the bottom. You're really dead now. That is true. That is true. Right, let's destroy your little house. Uh, is this is this the right way to go? I don't. Is, oh, the exit's there. Right, so I need to get up there. Right, lads. I need to get here. We're there. I've escaped. Nick escapes again. Situation under control. Level six. Right now, what's going to come up to me now? All meat, all matter of scary stuff. Um, I'll half on, I'll puff on, I'll blow your house down. Ho 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 ho. Right. Um. Uh, this looks a bit... Oh, I said it looks a bit easier. There's a lot of Jowers in this place. We do not like Jowers. I suppose you can't say that anymore, because that'd be speciest. Um, I don't mind Jowers. 
They seem to be appearing out of nowhere though this time. Oh, is there a key this way? Are we going the wrong way? Strength doesn't look particularly good. That's the wrong way. All that's here is treasure, and unless you're a pirate, treasure isn't much use to no one. Um, it's not as good as pot noodles, that is for sure. Right, boom. What's that? Uh, where's the keys, man? That's what people say in this game. Where's the keys, man? Uh, they're somewhere about this place. Right, there is um the, the drink might fill your strength up. Uh, there's a button to do that, but I can I can't get it to work. So uh, there there we go. It's, it's another Nick gameplay where there's a bit he can't get to work. But we'll have fun regardless. That's what we do. Hopefully, when people watch this, they think I could do better than him, and, and um, it uh, makes them want to play the uh, game. Uh, yeah, right, okay, right. Sometimes I get people that don't quite understand the channel. Well, I say sometimes a lot. I get people that don't understand the channel, and they leave, they leave massive paragraphs of how to complete the game and stuff I've done wrong. I, I don't mind odd bits and pieces. That's quite good fun. But when, when it's a whole long list of stuff, it's, it gets a bit wearing, doesn't it? There's an exit. He's done it. I didn't need a key. Oops, I did it again. I'm a bit like Britney Spears, but only on Face App. Right. Um, if you if you got that face up, it's very very scary. If you looked at my um, vlog, the Friday chat from a couple of weeks ago, you saw I got some quite stunning results on that, up to a point where I could almost open uh, a channel on that um, OnlyFans thing, where people pay you ten grand grand a month or something. But why is that thing not dying? What's that thing? I'm being chased by a Brussels sprout on legs. I've never liked them, and now they're getting their own back. Ugh. Right now it's getting a bit beyond my skill level here. Uh, right, um, uh, lads, lads, we're all friends here, just leave me alone, man. As Michael Jackson once sung, oh, look, I've died. Health got down to a big, big zero. Now, this game, Gauntlet, is it possible to complete this game? Is it possible to complete this game? Uh, you are right, Jason, just catching up with the comments. There isn't much social distancing in this game at all. Everyone in this game should be heavily fined. I mean, I was trying to keep a social distance, but it just uh, it just uh, wasn't happening, was it really? Right, I think it's time for a shooter. I think it's time for a shooter as we, uh, well, we, we go to the spirit in the sky uh, as that um, song once went. I think it's a time for a game of Mooncrester. It's a quite held in high regard, this one, uh, by Incentive Software in 1985. You can define your own keys, which is a bit uh, useful. And after Mooncrester, we will be coming to Old Mummy, so don't worry yourself there, Dave. Um, there we go. Hello, RSWPT. Glad you can join us today. Hope you are well. As I try and find Mooncrester, which I know I've got in this library of stuff somewhere. Where is it? It's under the moon, under the moon stuff. There's quite a lot in here now. Mooncrest, right, there we go. Loading. Great title screen there. Incentive software. Yeah, it's a nice little ship, that, isn't it, really? Uh, so what are the keys on this one? Uh, the keys are, well, they're redefinable. We'll try it without the cheat on, first of all, but this is from 1985. As it says there, we're on a trip to the space war, which is a war that happens possibly in space. That's what I'm, de that's what I'm deducing. Um, I haven't read the instructions, that's what I'm guessing a space war is. Right, left, capture for left, you can, you can forget that. Left is O, right is P. Oh, no up or down, it's just space. Right, hold is H, right. So this, this makes me think that this game might be a little bit tricky. Okay, yes. Uh, and then we can start the game. It did have a sequel called uh, Terra Cresta uh, as well, which wasn't quite as good in my opinion, but this one is in space. Uh, right, I shut my gob as that music was going on. Right, so this first, this is the front of the ship, and this ship only got one fire. If this gets killed, then we attack with another bit of the ship, right? And it's quite easy to die here, but it's a piece of retro goodness. It feels a little bit like an Atari 2600 game with the chunky graphics up the top. Yeah, Terra Cresta is pretty good on the uh, Commodore 64, you're right there, uh, Dion. It'd be so good to do a Commodore 64 stream, but as Dave said earlier, yeah, with some save states which have cut out all the loading. So, like the Atari 2600, one evening, maybe late, when I've got when I've got um, guaranteed internet bandwidth, because no one's watching the football, uh, I'll be able to give that a test as well for an hour, 
Um, it won't be announced that, so if you catch it, great. If you don't, don't. But it will just be me mucking about with stuff. And if you're there, you'll say, Nick, that game is too loud compared to your voice, or vice versa, and then I'll get it uh, right. So all these systems have a different kind of volume. Uh, each time I'm doing cocaine here, what's the catch? Right, um, Iridium is a good game as well. Uh, I think the Iridium may be slightly better on the Commodore 64 than the Spectrum, right, innit? I can't remember. I'm getting a bit mixed up. Didn't come out on the Atari... Oh, they're getting a bit low now. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. They get kamikaze -ing. So, hello, thanks, Gumdio, for letting me know about that, because my screen's arranged at the moment where I can't see how many people are in there. So, thank you for dropping by, everyone. Uh, if you've just joined us, it's nice and relaxed channel. Uh, it's not all about solid gameplay, as is quite evident. It's all about having a bit of fun, kicking back, easing a bit of stress, and... Um, 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 we're having fun, fun with the community. Right, now I've got to land this here. I could never do this back in the day. Uh, and I don't think I can do it now. Oh dear, I was supposed to land that on top of that teapot thing. Can I get it back? No, it's drifting away. That's the most unsuccessful coupling I've ever seen. Hmm. Uh, right, uh, can I get this back? Come on. Bring it back, bring it back. Do, 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 do. Right, get it back. We only got four seconds to dock now. Oh man, old oh, man caravan. Sorry, no bonus. Well, yeah, forget you. I'm a top pilot anyway. Right, as we continue on in this amazing space adventure, Moon Crester. Oh. Now, does this game actually um, um, come to a finish at the end? Is it possible to complete, or does it just go on forever? Sentinel's a good game, I think. I don't I've reviewed that. Whoa! Man, it's getting a bit mad. Say to the side. I think this might be the furthest I've ever got legitimately. Right, so, docking of rockets, which we know I'm going to struggle to do, right? Oh, how'd you do this bit? When I was on, I think when I did review this properly on joystick, I think I was doing okay on this one. Uh, right, um, hmm. Man. So what, what game shall I look at when I do the tester of, um, of the Atari 2600? I've got a few, I've got a few written down here. Uh, Donkey Kong we reviewed, could have a look at that. Enduro, that's a good one as well. Vector, a video pinball was quite good, that'd be a good one to test really, because there's not too much graphics there. Space Invaders, could have a, could have a snifty at that one as well. Bip, 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 bip. Oh, look at this, look at this mob. They look like skulls coming down. Oh, he's, he's running out, he's running out of skills here. Yeah, Mega Mania. I haven't heard of that one. Let's make a mental note on that. Is that similar to Mega Phoenix or Phoenix? That was a good one. Astro Blaster. That was good as well, wasn't it? Right. Oh, come on. Hi, Gary. I uh, hope you're having a good evening, sir. Portal. Yeah. Portal. Wasn't that a PlayStation game? I, I, mm, that's, a, that's a lot with the same name. It's like when I looked up, um, when I looked up Escape, there was quite a few with the name Escape on it as well. Let's go back into outer space. I thought I was going to need a poke on this game, but um, I seem to be um, sufficiently okay of it not to need one. Have a, a bit of t uh, fun on that one. Haunted House, says James. Is that on the ZX Spectrum? There's, there's a game I reviewed called Spooky House. Hmm. Right. Start the game. Well, we will do. Player one. That is me, because I'm the only player here. I mean, when I was going through the... Because um, I tend to do on the live stream games I've already reviewed. When I was going through the... Um, the reviewed uh, playlist, the Spectrum playlist. There's so many games I can choose from. There's, there's another one that almost made it called Plunder, uh, which we might look at a, a further time. It could, could be quite a long time on that one, where you sail the seven seas uh, for Elizabeth I and try and stop the uh, Spanish Armada. Well, stop the gold rush, I think. So that's a quite good game. Right. Do, do, do. Hello, the Grand Duke. Hello there. Hope you're having a great evening, sir, as I fly through space trying to avoid these aliens of doom. Uh, come on, just one left. He's taking him out. Do you know what? I think I think I would have been good in Star Wars um, as a pilot, a rebel pilot. Red two. If you've seen the, um, if you've seen Friday's uh, video log, the video chat thing, I was in an X-wing fighter there. If you want to check that one out, I was I was I was doing okay in battle, and then some uh, thunder dwarf teleported me out, and then that was that was that was the problem. Um, right. Uh, right. 
can't beat ZX Spectrum games. Well, that's that's quite right. I mean, there is there is something to be said, isn't there? The games that you grew up with, in particular the first computer you own, you always have a special affinity with. And um, when I see when I see Spectrum Color Clash, I, that just takes me right back. And people that have other computers just see that as as a fault. Where well, I just I just love it. It's it's the waltz and all. Moon Patrol Troll, 73 FPG Fug. That is that's a good game as well. Um, there's a game on the PlayStation 4 that's recently come out, isn't it? Star Wars, is it Rebellion or Rebels or Rogue Squadron or something? Where you get to fly a, um, fly a, uh, if I can get a super connection, I could, I could possibly play that. Uh, online though, I might get my butt kicked, so I might need a little bit of practice. Right, let's see if we can land this thing this time. Land. Ow, oh, it's not going my, oh hello. Oh dear. So that was quite a successful docking, wasn't it? A lot easier with the double firing there. What is, there's quite a lot to choose from here, so I'm really opening it out. What's your favourite shooter on the um, ZX Spectrum? Are you a fan of that Swift game? Or do you like the more conventional space shooters like this? Oh man, don't do that. Got to love the colour clash. There's not too much colour clash on here though. Hmm. Soul of a Robot. Hmm, I don't know that one. I'll have to, have to look on that one. R-types, oh, R-types, those horizontal scrolling games are so, so difficult, aren't they? I mean, the original Silkworm, I love that on the Commodore Amiga, also come out on the um, ZX Spectrum, of course. I love that game. But, um, you know, I find quite a lot of those horizontal scrollers a little bit, a little bit on the uh, tricky side. But they're for the hardcore gamers, aren't they, really? I don't think there's too many um, horizontal scroller shooters on the Atari 2600, is there? Or maybe I might be just being a bit um, naive about that. I think the Defender might be on there. Um, that ship looks a bit like the thing out of Ulysses 31. I've, I've just started watching that cartoon on, on YouTube. It's a very odd cartoon. Uh, Arcadia, that's a good game, Tom. Yeah, Ulysses 31 is an odd cartoon I've just started watching on, uh, on YouTube based on Greek mythology. Um, I've watched the first one last night. I'm probably going to do one each, one each time, I think. Do it one every now and again. I don't get too much, too much time, really. As I say, I really, really, really want to look at the Thai 2600 later on. Nick, don't fall asleep. Keep drinking coffee. That's what I should do, just drinking coffee. Do you think these look a little bit like the um, Amoeba Trons from Manic Miner, perhaps? Oh, oh I knew that was going to happen. Penetrator's a good game. I uh, recently reviewed um, Cavern Fighter. That was a little bit like Penetrator, but I think I still like um, I still like um, uh, Penetrator slightly better. Yeah, Ulysses 31, James. Great, isn't it, really? Yeah, Japanese studio. Ulysses, no one else can do the things you do. Um, yeah. What's the next line? Ulysses, like a bolt from the thunder blue or something. Um, the e he's stopping the evil forces, bringing peace and justice to Earth. That's how the song went, sort of. And that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm trying to find the kingdom of Hades, maybe, uh, and then rescue everyone who's been turned into stone. Oh, what's that? I think there's an there's a, there's a attack from behind. That's no good. You can't go up and down the screen on this one. Uh, yeah. Look out for my album, which will be out on Christmas Day, uh, maybe a few days before. Uh, get me to number one with my top singer. Yeah. Fly me to the moon and let me play amongst the stars. That's enough of that. Um, right, moon crested. Right, one one left. It's a magenta ship, maybe being driven by magenta Jim. Uh, there we, he's dark. Oh, it's back to these things again. Might be snowballs, might be ships. But if I stay to one side, we'll probably be there. Kaboom! Right now, this is where I had problems last time. Oh, one just turned. See, one just turned into a big, a big, uh, a big missile or something. They right did. Uh, hopefully I haven't been singing any copyrighted material as it goes to game over. Well, I think we've got pretty much the hang of that, haven't we? Mooncrester, which had a sequel, Terror Crester. I think that was in the arcades, wasn't it, this one? I think it was. Uh, I think it's time for O oh Mummy, based in Egypt. It's like a, like a maze sort of uh, game, I suppose. So we're zipping through. The time on these um, live streams does seem to go through super duper, duper duper first. Jason says, can you do a stream while singing all the classic cartoon themes from the 80s? Um, I think I'd be pushing my luck if I did that. It might start with 40 people at the start and end up with no people in the stream a bit after that. Uh, I do like a bit of singing. 
uh, but I don't think you're here to see that all the way through. If it's just singing and no games being played, I think there'll be some complaints. Right, hmm. Right, here we go. Uh, next we're going to, all about nostalgia, Oh Mummy. Oh Mummy, I am beautiful. Nick, you're singing again. Right, let's find Oh Mummy. Uh, it's like a, a very basic maze game, this one. Uh, originally designed on the 16K uh, ZX Spectrum. Uh, there it is. Um, uh, keys are... I don't know what the keys are. That could be a problem. Published by Gem Software in 1984. Hopefully it's QAOP or we get to define them. Right, I think I'm going to need the instructions on this one because I do not know the keys. Right, okay, C to continue. Basically, you'll go around a maze and you have to surround the blocks to work out what's unlocked in them. Uh, and once you uh, do that, um, and then um, you've got to find a key. There we go, a key to the exit. So here's all the things you could unlock. Once you found that key in the top right there, you can escape. Oh, it's not telling me what keys they were. Right, we'll work it out. Oh, there we go. So it's telling me now, at last. A, Z, K and L. And that's pretty much it. Now, this game is... Um, actually, I can change those, can't I? Yes. This game is programmed in basic. Um, so it might be a bit tricky sometimes, and we might get stuck on the furniture a little bit. But that's why we like the Spectrum. Uh, enter skill level. Well, it's, it's me here, so, um, yeah. Rosie, do the dance video while singing and playing a Spectrum game at the same time. Uh, mm, that'd be a bit tricky. I mean, my gameplay is a little bit suspect at, at best. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's an idea. Maybe I could do that. Right, Oh, anyway, oh mummy, here we go. Now, this game is super duper basic, 1984, but looks like it's a game from 1974, right? There's an Egyptian guard there down the end. He will try and get us, and every so often more will come out. So, you can see, wherever I'm going, it's leaving a bit of a white trail, which Pac-Man would be very interested in if he ever saw it. Uh, once we go around the boxes, we it tells us what's actually inside, right? And once we've done so, we get to that green box there. Right, where is the key? We need the key. It only reveals um, when you've gone around all four sides of this. Uh, now, I, oh dear, I'm in, I'm in trouble now. Um, I played this game on a few systems. It's pretty cool on the um, Mega Drive there. But when you look at these games, you can't compare them with modern day games, really. It's essentially um, the building blocks for a lot of games that were to come, essentially. So this is pre-Doom, pre a lot of games, really. It's slightly after Escape, though, so there we go. Uh, from, right, so I've got the key. Get through there, and, and there we go. So it's quite a basic game. A lot of kids would have uh, liked this uh, straight away. Right, okay. So don't get me wrong, yeah, there was a lot better games to uh, come after this one, but it's good to see, show it a bit of love every now and again. Have reviewed it on the uh, channel. Uh, we'll come to a few of these every now and again, because it's not all about the blockbuster games. Um, no doubt my channel will have a lot more views if I just concentrate on the best games all the time, but uh, you know, we want to see everything, because that's, that's the whole point of it. I thought I had the key then. Didn't, wouldn't let me out, right. Let me out, why wouldn't let me out? Perhaps I need to do a bit in the maze as well, right. Come on, I want to get on the green square. There we go. Du, 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 du. Bullseye, that was a good that was a good quiz show. Um, another game that almost got into the stream today was Wacky Darts, because I did enjoy playing 180. I think it was either last week or the week before. I think Wacky Darts is a slightly a little bit more um, tricky. But um, I'm feeling that this game is easing my stress a little bit. There's three guys after me. I see, oh, right. Uh, always, I think the key's always in a slightly different place. That should be enough, shouldn't it? No. So there's a key as well, but you need to, I think, maybe um, unlock about half the um, half the maze as well. Oops. Right. Okay. Let's go for a let's go for a wander over here. Oops. We released another chap there. Oh, yeah. Quite often, he gets stuck on the furniture. This guy. Oh, well, no, he's died. He's got caught by a guard. I wasn't bad at 180, thanks Tom. It's working out. It's working out the um, the maths of the finishes each time, and getting used to how to hit the uh, the doubles and all those sort of ones. Right, surely that's enough now. That guy's in the way. That's it. He's off to another stage. Right. I think I got to the semi-final in um, uh, that one. Mm. Talking of Doom, does anyone remember Zybots? I sort of like half remember that one. Did I review that? 
Nick, you're not remembering anything that you reviewed now. Well, well, to be honest with you, I'm nearing, I think I might be nearing to about 2,000 videos on the channel. I think so. That That's just stupid, isn't it? The ZX Spectrum's almost up to 700. The Commodore Amiga's getting near to 400 games. There's about over 100 Commodore 64 games. Atari 2600 is, is still quite new. Started doing the Nintendo 64 and the um, SNES. There's some Game Boy Advance games, maybe over a hundred of those. This is such a crazy channel. So if you, if you, I'm a workaholic. So if you wanted to watch all those, if you're new to the channel, it's probably you're probably gonna have to take a few months off while you get through. So show those videos some love. Um, I always answer, well, most most often answer the comments, or even on even on the old videos uh, there, because you know they're old, they're old games, they're old games. So you know why not have an old video as well? A few games I've come back to in the review, right? So oh, look at that. So we won't be spending a hundred years here. You'll be glad to, to glad to know. Uh, but it's it's good to have a bit of a foil, a bit of a comparison, really. Because um, if if I just uh, play the best games all the time, it'd be like having a plate of chips and nothing else. Right, there's the key. Oh, uh, I think that should be it, shouldn't it? Yes, he does it again. F1 2020 put today. Yeah. A game I need to come out on the Nintendo 64, I need to play that, is Mario 64 perhaps. I, I, I really like the Mario Kart games. But Mario Kart didn't come out on the ZX Spectrum, did it? That, which is a big shame. I often um, uh, fantasise about what would a, a karting game would have been like on the ZX Spectrum with all your, all your favourite characters there. Horace in the kart, Jet Set Willy, Hen House Harry, Wally Week from the Wally games. It would be absolutely awesome. And that's something really that maybe a home brewer couldn't do, couldn't they? I'm not sure what the um, the copyright is in all these characters, but all you do is just change their name ever so slightly, like they did with Manic Pietro on the Zedic Spectrum as well. But we'd all know we'd all know who they were. So it'd be Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy. Uh, who else would there be? Henhouse Harry would have to be there. Whoa, right, Horace for sure. Who would be the fastest racer out of them? Close. Uh, come on, Nick. Come on. What level am I on now? I've got that key there. Let's go. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. It's, uh, it's slowly going along. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Right. Oh. And if you are listening to this and a home brewer, have a think about that karting game that I just mentioned. That'll be quite cool. And I'd definitely review it. I'd definitely review it. I'm getting to a point now, which never used to happen in the, in the past, whenever I review a, a homebrew, quite often the author would put a comment in the comment section as well, um, with a little bit of a tip. Uh, just like on that sticker, Dave, it's, it's a cat doing a thumbs up, is it? Excellent. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're right there, Tom. I think, um, yeah, Horace. I have to call him Boris. Right, what's happened now? British Museum today announced successful excavation of ancient tomb. So I've, I've got to another bit of the game, I think. Have I? Yeah, right. Um, mm. Right, here we go. But it, it, It's another bit of the game, but it does look very, very similar. I've got um, four, four men. Right. There was a when I played this on the Sega Mega Drive. There was a version where uh, where there was actually at night time. Actually, is this another level? Or is it just started all over again? There's only one person after us. It might be going slightly quicker this time, but um, the guy's in hot pursuit. I don't think the AI is overly clever. It's not as sophisticated as uh, Pac-Man. Oh, we just released another guy there. Uh, right through. There we go. Back again. So after this, we will be having. Um, um, a walkthrough of Ikari Warriors. Um, I'll try it first of all without a poke on it, but it's ludicrously difficult that game. Um, when it comes to run and guns, uh, my favourite is Commando only because well the graphics are good on it, and it's such a pick up. It's such a pick up and play game, and it, it's easier than uh, a lot of them. First of all, it gets very very difficult sh um, later on, but at least it shows you a bit of the game to give the incentive to actually uh, come back and uh, play that. Looks like one of those Egyptian guys is stuck in the corner. Right, can't get there yet. Need to unlock a few more squares. That should be enough, surely. No. Uh. Come on, come on, Nicky. It's reminding me a little bit. I don't know why. I think it's the graphics. Really, it's reminding me a little bit of Snake Pit where you, on the Amiga, where you, it's a very basic game. That where you control a worm that goes actually longer and longer and longer. Yeah. Actually, that, if I ever did an Amiga test stream on this current um, setup, um, Snake is one of the basic ones I maybe can get away with. That and maybe an Asteroids game. Do 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 do
So we'll call this the last uh, game of this game. Um, game of this game? It'll this go of this. It's got four men left, and then we'll zip through and have a go at our uh, Ikari Warriors. Oh, look at that. Oh, thanks, Julie. Thank you. And a cool sticker as well as, as I get killed twice. That's a, that's a pound for, for each death. Right, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Thanks, Julie. Yeah, appreciate it. I know you're a big supporter in the channel, and I do like reading your blog as well. Good stuff. Right, okay. Uh, uh, right, okay. Now, I do try and... I, I, I spread myself a bit thin. I do try and um, answer all the comments on YouTube and Twitter as well, and do the videos. So sometimes it's a bit of an option bouncing round all over the place. Apologies if I don't answer them immediately or if I, I miss one. But I am I am on the case. I am on the case. Because uh, I want this um, channel to be inclusive. Uh, so so you get involved and you feel you're actually a part of, of well, whatever scene this is I've made. What scene have I made? I don't know. A disaster scene. But anyway, I, I like you to be a part of the disaster scene. Hooray! Right, okay. I think I played this on the Commodore 64, and I think I think it's true to say it does play a little bit better than uh, this one. But it's good to see what the Amiga could, uh, not the Amiga, the ZX Spectrum could do with it. And it's game over. So yeah, so we played uh, we played two maze, well three maze games so far, haven't we? So we've been heavy on the uh, the maze games. Uh, we have played uh, Escape, Gauntlet, Mooncrester, and Oh Mummy. But I do I do like this music. It's a game that I've never played on the. Um, on the the arcades um, there, so yeah, it's all right for a, a knock around every now and again. If I'd had it as a kid back in 1984, I wouldn't have been too disappointed. But um, once that took attack, I started playing that. D Dizzy could be in the karting game, Tom. You are right there. Hmm. Okay, right. You do get some games that are better on some systems than others, don't you? Like um, Buggy Boy on the Commodore 64 was fantastic. On the Spectrum, in my opinion, it wasn't so good. And you got things that work the other way, like Jet Set Willy on the Spectrum was marvellous. Commodore 64, um, pretty hopeless, really. Um, I, I don't know if there's different people that do the coding on, on each of those or what have you, but it might be the case. I mean, both are pretty good systems, but um, there's no reason why Jet Set Willy shouldn't have been uh, bad on the... Um, the Commodore 64, but there we go. They, they handle colour quite a bit differently, each of those two. So we'll be looking at Akari Warriors on the 128K. A uh, nice bit of music, this. As I say, it's by Elite Systems in 1988. You might know Elite, we did Commando in 1985. I hope, I think we can redefine the keys on this one. Kempston Mouse, what the, what the smeg is that? Redefine keyboard, right. There we go, so up. You always know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm sure you had similar um, uh, ones. What did you? What keys did you favour? I was I was always Q for up, A for down, O for left, P for right, and fire with spacebar toggle. I don't know what that is. Is that something to do with the Boy Scouts? Maybe. Um, well, dib 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 dob dob dob. Uh, let's go through here and try not to get ourselves um, uh, shot. Right. So how do we start this thing? Um, 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 Oh, it's player. T it's wanting something for player two. Well, player two's not here, so we'll give them the joystick. They can have D for toggle. Right, start one player game. Now, all my goes on this never lasted very, very long because it was ridiculously difficult. Right, so you can. It's uh, as I say, it's, it's trying to be in the vein of Commando, but it's it's so easy to get shot in this game. Right, I've got round those two or those three. Right, if you keep the fire button held down, it will launch a hand grenade. Let's try and steam through there. Now, believe it or not, this is normally longer than I normally live for. As I do a little Michael Jackson dance and die, and I die again. I'm spinning around like a smooth criminal. Oops. Du, 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 du. Blow up. Right, okay. Pow, pow. Oops. It might be best to try and avoid these people. Now, if you was any good at this game back in the day, let me know. Because I've never got off level one legitimately. It's just it, The guy just moves too slow for me, but... A lot of people hold this in a uh, wide regard, right. I always find not using the toggle works best, right. That's what I'll certainly do as well, whatever it is. Right, uh, uh, oh man. Right, you do know I'm gonna, right, game over. That was a very quick uh, go. So you might see the screen pause for a little bit, where, and that is me typing in a poll, because believe it or not, I don't know if you noticed on my channel when you looked at the traditional view reviews, occasionally I do type a poke in. Now, if you've ever seen me type a poke in or use a poke, then comment below. Um, I don't think there'll be too many of you that have seen that, so that's an, an admission to you. So, hopefully it works. This poke is supposed to bring us immunity for the Akari Warriors, which which I am. What is an Akari Warrior, anyway? Uh, I, I, I suppose it's like some kind of martial art thing, isn't it? Right. 
Now, we should be invincible now, like an invincible Robocop sort of character. If I can... Right, I thought it, I thought it had crashed then to teach me a lesson. Oh dear, there's a line, there's a line across the screen. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to reset the thing. Reset. Type the poke in again. It didn't like, it tried to, it didn't like my poke, folks. Right, add that in. Get that there. Oh dear, it's, it's trying to, it's trying to upset me, so I can't do the poke. Well, it might win, it might not. Uh, I'm going to have to redefine my keys again. Right, come on Nick, you can do this thing, you can do this thing. It might be a complete walkthrough. So Q up, A down, left O, right P, toggle, there. Then I'm just going to check to see if that poke's still on, but if it does if it does cut up the whole screen, then um, well, we'll see how we get on there. Uh, it might not be the best poke in the world. I bought it from a man in, in disguise in a bar, and um, money changed hands. No, it didn't. Uh, right, okay. Player two, they can be that. Uh, they can have that. Right, one player. Will the poke work with the screen eat up? The screen's not eating up this time, but that does that mean the poke is not working? We'll soon see. We'll run into this guy. Shoot me! No, it looks like he's, work he's, he's alive. Yay! You won't see me do the Michael Jackson in this video, but you might see it in another video. Dun, 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 dun. Right, he's storming through. So, I'll try and play it properly, but I just want to see uh, a bit more, a bit more of this game. So, I'll give you a bit of an idea, is it worth um, playing this a bit uh, more? Now, it did have a review uh, called, um, I did have a sequel, I suppose, called Vict Victory uh, Road there. Scrolling is not as good as uh, Commando. As I say, there's another game called Mercs, but you know, Commando for me is a, is a lot, lot better than all all of the other competition. Um, ones we've done as well is is um, Duet, um, Frontline as well. Um, Duet was sometimes called a Commando eighty seven as well to a degree. Uh, I think the guy's flashing a bit to show us that we're I invincible. I don't think it quite flashed that much in the real game. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's not flickering as it scrolls, although the central main character is. Uh, another good one which gets rid of the need for scrolling completely is Who Dares Wins, which is one we, I think, we, did we come to that on a live stream at one point? Um, I, I intended to, if we didn't to. So we'll just see a bit how this uh, game works. Uh, you're quite right there, top shelf. A lot of these games work a little bit better uh, in um, two player. Right, do I have to go in the water here or can I get round? Oh, you can go in the water. There we go. So let's go across here, across the green bridge. Now it is cutting up a little bit with, uh, but nothing to do with the poke. It is a bit of a colour clash, but that's why we like the spectrum so much. Uh, another game, I suppose, a bit like a run and gun, is Rambo First Blood. Um, there, it's not a bad one. Can we blow that up? It's Poke City, and that <laughs> that that whole place explodes, and they don't know what's happened here. There's a, there's a one man Rambo coming in. Uh, who does wins two on the Commodore 64? Go to game for you, Dion. So yeah, I'll keep an eye on that if we uh, uh, get a six Commodore 64 stream up. When I reviewed Commodore 64 games, I don't think I covered Who Dares Wins. Uh, by memory, one of my, my favourite ones was um, Space Taxi, I think it was. That was a great game. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, I did like the Great Giant Sisters on the Commodore 64 as well. I was amazed at how close they got it to um, looking like the Commodore Amiga version. Mm. Uh, the main character flashing is caused by the Pope Lewis, yeah, I think so. Um, in the main game, I think it flashes when you're invincible for a short space of time. So normally, he wouldn't he wouldn't flash to this um, uh, degree. And we're through. We're through, we're through. Nick Bow, that's me always here. You know it. Let's take those out. Not to be confused with Dimbo, of course. Dimbo. Right. Um, uh, have you completed Manic Miner with a Pope there? Just caught that. With Manic Miner... I'm all I'm okay with it when as soon as I get to the I never use a poke on Manic Miner but I'm okay on that game until I get to the warehouse then it all goes a bit wrong I tend to start having problems when it gets to um, um, Eugene's Lair sometimes causes me a trouble level 5 but then I start having um, trouble when it gets to the attack of the mutant telephones that's it uh, I normally lose a few lives there and I've never got I've never got any better at it really yeah right 
There was a Who Dares Wins Free with Commando Men in. Well, that's, that seems worth um, uh, tracking down. That sounds very worth tracking. I do like a good run and gun. A good one on the um, Commodore Amiga was called Dogs of War. We went on different missions. Although there was um, one stage where, on my version at least, which caused the whole thing to, um, whole thing to crash. Right, here we go. Like, Commando has set levels in it. End of level one, you crash area one, now go to area two. Seems like this one just keeps going on and on and on until you die. But I don't think too many people would have completed this without without a cheat on it. If you are one of those people, then show off in the uh, the section below. And we're already we're already an hour gone through the stream. Time always goes super fast in here. It goes super duper super fast. After this game, uh, if you're into your races, we will be looking at a Formula One game um, influenced by a pole position, of course, uh, called. Um, what was it called? 4K Race Refueled, that's it. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Boomer. There we go. Take that out, you. Good stuff, good stuff. So, yeah, thank you. So we're halfway through. A uh, huge thanks to the people that have used the uh, super chat there via the uh, chat there. Uh, all all adds up. That helps the channel run really good. Uh, and if you want to become a member, if you want to help the channel a bit more, I think the, the earlier tier is just one ninety nine a month, which is, is pretty good value for the amount of content I put up, including the live streams. And that starts at just uh, yeah one ninety nine on the bottom tier. But as I say, that's not compulsory at all. Don't feel that you need to do that. And if you do, uh, it helps me run things and works out about four or five pence a channel. And you get a members video uh, each week on Sunday, letting you know what videos are going up. There we go. Thank you, Krona Baggy. So yeah, I know you're uh, you a member, and you've also used the super chat as well. So you're doing me you're doing me super proud there. But I need to go in the, the wall here. So thank you very much there. Thank you. Um, right. Uh, Desert Strike. Now that's a game I've been meaning to come to on many systems. I've never covered it, but there's a few, isn't there? There's Desert Strike, Jungle Strike, um, Miners Strike. Uh, I don't. I think I made made, made the last one up. Right, but I don't know how many times I would have died so far in this game. Probably about 15 million per dillion. Uh, uh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, it's on the Mega Drive as well. Did it come out on any other systems? Master System. Now, I've got the uh, I've got the facility to look at Master System games, but I, I just haven't uh, as of yet. Um, it'd be nice to see what... Um, be nice to see what Speedball 2 looks like on the Master System. Speedball 2 is one of my favourite games, which to my knowledge never actually made it on the um, the ZX Spectrum. Uh, Counter Strike, Urban Strike, yeah, they never used made it on the ZX Spectrum. Made it on the Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, of course, PlayStation 3, I think on the PC as well. Never made it on the Spectrum. Why is that? Someone needs to do a homebrew of Speedball 2 on the ZX Spectrum. Maybe it, maybe the colour clash will um, um, inhibit it from doing getting any level. Um, so people that are experts of this game, there might be one or two of you, how far am I in this game? Am I just 2% in or am I, am I massively into it now? He goes onto the land, oh there's a helicopter there, and it's boomed. That was like that was like one of those 80s um, shows, like the A-Team, where there'd be a helicopter flying overhead. It'll cut to Mr T or someone firing a gun, one bullet hit the helicopter and the whole thing will absolutely explode. I love those times, bring back the AIM team, about halfway through, thanks Sean and Baggy, about the Hive team. Nick Bowl cannot be stopped. If you've got a problem and no one else can help, maybe you should call Nick. But make sure, make sure he's got a poke on it, and make sure he's got his favourite hat on for luck. There is an 18 game on the Spectrum. I haven't reviewed it. I don't think. Uh, a lot of TV tying games are, are really, really bad. Um, I think it's on the list to cover the 18. Uh, I covered Knight Rider, which was terrible. Uh, Dukes of Hazard wasn't too bad, I suppose, in terms... Of it, it wasn't the greatest game in the world, but it wasn't hideous compared to some. And I don't think the A-Team's been done by Timesoft, so that might be okay. Right, let's go through. This game does have an ending. Right. Da -da -da -da. I think the A-Team the used pokes. Well, that's, that's quite safe. Du, 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 du. What was the story with the eighty? They were in the army, then they did something, and the army didn't like them anymore. Then there was fugitives trying to outrun the army, uh, and then to make money, they was taken on side projects to help people um, um, out with, with against hoodlums or kidnapping. Was that was that the story? Was that the story of the um, the eighty? I mean, they called themselves the A team, so presumably there must have been a B team. Who was in the B team? Was it, was, it was just the rubbish people in the B team which didn't make it to the A team. B.A. Buttercup maybe, um, Hannibal out of Science of the Lambs, um, 
I don't know. If you was in the B team, comment below. Was there a C team? I don't know. There was a C side. Uh, right, okay. It's getting distracted again. Tank City. Uh, right. Thanks, Dion. I thought that was the gist of it. I, I remember once, my favourite episode ever, talking about the A-Team again, my favourite episode of the A-Team was, I seem to remember Boy George being in it. It might it might be on YouTube. It was doing the worst acting ever. And and there's a great line in it where Boy George is in, in a bar and Mr T says, like, oh, it's Boy George, as if that's the most naturalist thing in the world. And I, th I think they help him out with some hoodlums or something or help him get to a gig. Because Boy George, Boy George would use the A-Team. I mean, whose idea was that? Obviously, Boy George was popular at the time, and they thought, we need to get Boy George in the A-Team, or the producer of the A-Team thought, we definitely need to get Boy George in this. Crazy, crazy times. Right, anyway, let's go over this bridge. Nobody got shot as well. You're right, Top Shelf, Phil. And also, Top Shelf, and also as well, quite often the enemies would lock them in a shed, wouldn't they, or in a warehouse, but mistakenly lock them in a warehouse with lots of cutting tools and equipment and all the machinery to actually overnight make a huge killer tank with missile facilities. That was that was that was a that was a bizarre thing. Yeah. Du, 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 du. Well, Boy George isn't in Akari Warriors, as far as I'm aware. If you are Boy George, comment below. Did you have fun? He's, he's not here. Why did I see that? He might be. Uh, did you have fun making that 18? Yeah. Uh, and then they re they remade the A team in a film, didn't they? Which I haven't seen. But Boy George surprisingly wasn't asked to actually uh, uh, being in that. So this is this game is a bit like the A team in that I'm not being shot. Well, officially, but unofficially I am being shot quite a bit. As he picks up those, yeah, right. I'm just reading your comment there, Dave. That's that's absolutely amazing. Can't beat a bit of boy George. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. He comes and goes, doesn't he? According to the song, uh, people are always trying to hurt him. They're always trying to make him cry, ruin his makeup or something. Throw a bucket of water over him. Right. He was on the. Um, he was on the. Uh, he was on the Voice, wasn't he? He was one of the judges for a series. Why can't I get through there? Uh, I, I seem to. Have, I seem to have got stuck now. Right. It might be the end of the game. Oh, I can get. I can go through here. Right. Okay. Who'd have thought it? If you ever see an obstacle in real life, try and sidestep it. Try and sidestep it. Uh, that's a good thing to do. Right now. He's. Uh, he's flashing a bit. This guy. Not in the way that um, makes us in trouble there. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Keep doing what you do. I will, sir. And with with donations like that, I I will do. Thank you very, very. Thank you very much. That's absolutely awesome. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Right. Okay. Let's keep going here as we go through Akari Warriors. I think we've been playing this game the uh, the most here, haven't we? There. Yeah. Why have you skipped the tank? Um. I. It. It wasn't a conscious decision. Believe me, it might be something to do with the game player. Right. Uh, with the, the tank might have been useful. Right, now where are we going? I, I've got I've got a cheat on anyway. We don't need the tank. If this was a real if this if this, if we was real soldiers, if we was real soldiers in a real war, it's just you and me, and you said to me at some point, Nick, why, why didn't you use the tank? I say, Oh yeah, but uh, that would that'd be a lot more serious then, wouldn't it? Yeah, um uh, game playing error. Right, shout out other stuff. Uh, there might be some other stuff. If I was lying, I'd probably say I wanted I wanted more of a challenge. Du, 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 du. Oh yeah, Bark Barkley from um, Star Trek: The Next Generation. He was a great character, wasn't he? Did he turn up in Deep Space Nine as well? Hmm, I might have I might have remembered that wrong. There was a, there was a big run. Was, Star Trek was was going great guns then. It was all about well, a lot to do with Gene Roddenberry, wasn't it? Really, it was all to do with um, the storylines and the characters. Now it's just like, action scene based. It seems. I'd love to see a Star Trek scene come back. Apparently, apparently, um, although it's not Star Trek, apparently the show The Orville is quite good, which I haven't seen. Have you seen that? The Orville, which is like based loosely on Star Trek sort of stuff. Um, Barclay's not in that one. Right. He was in Voyager. That's it. He was in Voyager. That was it. And the um, the holographic Doctor as well. He was in a in a few. I'll tell you a show. Another show I haven't uh, watched because I've only got normal television. That uh, show Picard. Have you seen Picard? Is that any good? I know um, Jerry Ryan's in that, who plays um, Seven of Nine. Um, it's a bit of a surprise, wasn't it, seeing uh, Picard back? But um, yeah, I think they're, they're coming up to see season two, are they? I've run out of bullets here. Uh, oh dear. Thank goodness I've got the cheese on it. Picard was okay. Thanks, Dion. Oh, you think it wasn't very good? So it wasn't as good as the original Star Trek. Is it set mainly in space? 
or is it just him on a, on a farm doing different um, missions? Hmm. Okay, you have rescued the colonel and received... Is that the end of the game? Continue to fight. Duh, 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 duh. Well, there we go. So, I, that, you know, I zipped I zipped through there. That's that's quite good, that game, but I think the chances of completing it are absolutely... Without the cheat on it, is absolutely zero. So it was in space. Is the Starship Enterprise in uh, Picard? I, I don't know. I don't know how many series they're going to get out of um, uh, Picard, are they? I mean, um, how, how old is Patrick Stewart now? Is he, is he in his 70s? Hmm. Yeah, you're right, Han Solo. It did go a lot against him. Um, his uh, his vision there. It's all about action scenes, and you're never going to get like people like Commander Data, Spock, where they have an, an arc going through. Where they develop their character. Even um, Miles O'Brien in Deep Space Nine had a, an arc, didn't he? Wolf as well. Uh, every character had their own slight storyline, which really made you want to um, root for them and come together as a unit. Where now, I think I saw one episode of the recent Star Trek. I, I honestly couldn't care if they died or anything or got beamed down to the planet and all that sort of stuff but anyway so anyway I'm getting uh, distracted here in my Star Trek reverie we need to come to another game uh, which is going to be 4k uh, refueled uh, which is a homebrew um, you might not have seen it before but if you're uh, familiar with um, uh, what's the game um, pole position uh, you'll be familiar with this but essentially there's only three um, of it loads apparently there's only three buttons Q A O M P. Patrick Stewart will be turning 20. Well, he looks he looks good on it, Texy. He does look um, uh, good. Right, right, okay. Anyone see Avenue 5? I've seen Babylon 5. Is it like that? Or like Babylon Zoo, the uh, uh, the band? Right. Enter to start. Q, A, O, and P. Oh, dear, that doesn't look very healthy, does it? Let's, uh, let's uh, reset. Oh, because I'm on 48K mode. Let's reset that. Right, let's load again. Let's have another go. We won't be frauded. Right, here we go. So I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're easing your stress. And I hope, hopefully your day hasn't been too stressful in, in the first place. But if you are a bit stressy, a bit like me, hopefully it's taking you away for a couple of hours and we're having a little bit of fun. Right, off we go. Off we go. We're racing and it's loaded up properly now. Thank goodness. Now, there was a game before this called uh, 4K Race, but this one's been redone by Paolo Ferraris in 2005. And um, essentially you have to get through a number of checkpoints before the time runs out but he made this one the track a bit wider and the view is a little dear the view is a little bit different whoa now if you crash into any of the cars or go off the track it will immediately explode right Farscape yeah Farscape used to be on the same time as Star Trek didn't it or very similar time I like oldies blown up I do like the old classic ones as well thanks Paul 79 I do like the uh, the old um, classic ones as well like Lost in Space the old series I think I said on Twitter the other day, the theme music of Stingray, whenever I hear that, well, it's sort of science fiction, isn't it, but underwater, that, um, that gave me a lot of energy, really, really perked me up. Also, the, the music the music on a lot of those is fantastic, isn't it, really? Extended play. Dee, 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 dee. So if you're feeling a bit down, put on the music from um, Lost in Space or Stingray or any of those old classic ones, and then excellent. It does help. It does give you a bit of an energy boost as well. Or, or watch one of my videos, of course. I'll try and cheer you up. I'll give it my bestest shot, I saw will. Whoa. Oh, no. We so knew that was going to happen. I haven't seen the remake of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, okay. I did like the old Battlestar Galactica, though, with that guy out of Bonanza in it and the old Cylons. I've seen um, I've seen uh, a lot of um, like screenshots, I suppose, if you want to call them screenshots or screen grabs, should we say. Um, you can't beat those old Cylons, although they, they're not very fast in a race, are they? Oh. This guy's weaving all over the track. Maybe it's Roman Grosjean, or maybe it's Vettel. Is it Vettel? If it is, he'll go into a spin in a minute. No, he didn't. Oh, well, I've run out of time. Well, hmm. It is really good programming. I think this was just done with a 4K of programming, I think, of memory, and that's why it's called 4K. I might be wrong, but I'm playing the 128K, though, so perhaps I'm talking gibberish. Uh, there's seven sections to get through, as you can see in the top middle. I'm currently on one of seven. Uh, Paul, you're, yeah, Space 1999, that was a fantastic show, great music as well, that is great music, after this is over, I think, uh, I think I might have to listen to that, Space 1999 will give you loads and loads of energy, yeah, oh, look at that, and Terror Hawks as well, to a lesser degree, du, 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 du. is that Terror Hawks, du, diddly, 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 diddly. is that Terror Hawks, uh, I mentioned Ulysses 31 a bit earlier on, that had cracking music too, Right, gets through. So it's not really a race this game, it's just a question of overtaking as many cars as possible and getting past the checkpoints to number seven. The merest of touching of pixels will um, get the car. 
If you've had this one, let me know if you got to the end. It was 2005, which I suppose, I suppose it's, I, I call the modern ones homebrews, but 2005, that's 15 years ago now, isn't it? That is 15 years ago. Time goes very quick. I mean, if I was 20, 15 years ago would take me back to being age 5, and I'd say that was, that was a big age, but now I'm 45, 15 years take me back to 30, so that just seems like the other day. Weird, isn't it? Time moves a bit weird the, the older you get. I suppose it's a bit like being near a, a black hole. Mm. I'll tell you one thing I miss, which is never on YouTube, although there's some clips. The classic Doctor Who's. I'd love to see the classic Doctor Who's. My favourite was Tom Baker, as a lot of people's will be, who are similar to my age. And then most people that watch this channel so far, of course, tend to be, if they're into classic Doctor Who, tend to be either one side or the other. So one Doctor afterwards, um, Peter Davidson, not to get confused with Jim Davidson, which wouldn't have been a very good Doctor. Ah, and um, uh, also Sylvester McCoy a bit later on, and there's John Pertwee, wasn't there, if you're a bit older than me. Uh, there, maybe in your 50s, you might have got John Pertwee there. Yeah, John Pertwee was good. The thing with John Pertwee was, he's Doctor, he wasn't in space very much, was he? He was in that car, and I think uh, they take, he wasn't in the TARDIS. They'd taken that away, had they? And he wasn't um, there. Saw the introduction of the, the Sergeant Major, I think, as well. Or was the Sergeant Major in the first one? Hmm. See, that's why I need to watch all these. That's why I need to watch all these classic Doctor Who's. My memory fades a bit, uh, really, but... Um, Tom Baker was there for six years, which uh, is that the longest running Doctor so far? Might well have been. And I think the Doctors come and go too quick now. They tend to last about two or three series, don't they? Like David Tennant went for a while. I always run out of time then. They tend to last about two or three series and then they're gone. Blake Seven is on YouTube. Thanks, old boy. Blake Seven is one I um, didn't really um, know a great deal back in the day, but I'd love to. I'd love to catch up with Blake Seven. Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't make a film called Blake 7 now, could you? Because a lot of people will think, I haven't seen Blake 6, or I haven't seen Blake 5. Yeah. Whoa. Sylvester McCloy. Yeah, Sylvester McCoy. He got some... He got a bit of a slate in Sylvester McCoy as the last Doctor, but the Doctor Who was at, sort of like at the end of its run there. It's fallen out of popularity, and I think he did okay. He made the Doctor his own, didn't he, really? Yeah. Blake 7, right. So, let's make a mental note. I need to watch online, I need to watch, well, I need to continue watching Ulysses 31, because I've only seen the first one. So I need to see Blake 7, Space 1999, if there are any, I know the music's there, and maybe track down a bit of Stingray, Stingray, deleted, it, did it, we're about to launch Stingray. The Mysterons, are they in Stingray? This is the voice of the Mysterons, playing a Formula 1 game. Right, you can't say I don't get distracted in, in, in these, uh, uh, these, these, but it's all about retro, uh, all about retro. Sometimes we talk about the game on the screen, sometimes we just use it as a big old excuse to have a bit of a natter and have a bit of fun. This is the community, isn't it, really? Oh, man. Ew. When you talk and drive a Formula One car at the same time, it's a little bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa. I haven't mentioned it for a while, so I'll say it again. Thanks to everyone that have used the Super Chat. Thank you very much. Um, right, so Thunder Through. Good stuff. Oh, man. Let's get around here. You might see, you've seen it on every, um, I think it's uh, uh, um, not going to be used at all, and I think uh, the Super Chat um, overrules it anyway. You'll see each time, there might be a graphic, it might be a bit blurry, it says Ko-Fi N. Jenk in there. Basically, I've got this site called uh, Ko-Fi, which if someone, um, they, you can buy you a virtual coffee on it really. So if someone goes on that site and buys me a virtual coffee, apparently, I've never seen it in action of course, apparently the... Um, the, um, that graphic does a little beep and goes up the screen. It goes beep, 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 or something like that. But, uh, you know, but the, it's, uh, it's rendered redundant, really, that feature, by the Super Chat. So just in case you was wondering what the hell it was. Okay, right. Okay. Now, I have been um, doing these streams by uh, some piece of software called OBS, which you may or may not have heard of. Your, your techies might have heard of it. And there are some widgets you can get uh, there which are display on the screen. So once uh, my internet is a bit better, I might put them on as well. And I think these widgets might say things like um, how many people are, are viewing in at the moment and all that sort of uh, stuff. Right. And I've run out of time again. Shall we just have one last go on this? We'll have uh, one last go and then we'll come to a really good, um, I think it's good from memory anyway, um, called Badlands on the 128k. But talking of Formula 1, of course I'm a McLaren fan, as you might know if you've watched. Uh, Tom Baker was seven years, was he? Thank you, correct me. So, yeah, I'm a Formula 1 uh, fan, in particular McLaren, and um, it's the Austrian Grand Prix on uh, weekend there. And um, 
Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, Lando Norris come third. There was a, a few things there. I'm I'm 45. I don't mind um, I saying that top shelf feel. There we go. Hopefully I sound younger. When I use the face app, I'm a lot younger. Anyway, um, so yeah, Lando Norris come third. Um, Carlos Sainz come fifth. Although it did help uh, Lewis get in a, a time penalty uh, there. Uh, uh, and so they're second in the championship now, McLaren. Um, who'd have thought that with all those years in the doldrums? 26 points there on in second place. And it is on this weekend again, and it is from Austria again. There was a lot of car breakdowns, wasn't there? There's a lot of reliability problems. It's hard to think how they're going to correct that with just a week to go. So, you know, I think McLaren could do it again. The car looks very, very reliable. Um, yeah, I think McLaren could be in for big points again. Um, Red Bull, well, Albon would have won that race, wouldn't he, I think. Um, Verstappen broke down, so th I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, but a a Albon, possibly on the right tyres, would have gone through to win. But Lewis, um, well, did he take him out? He might have done. Bit, bit ruthless, but it might have been a racing incident, but that's why he got the uh, penalty. But, um, yeah, I think McLaren, they could get another podium. What about this time Carlos Sainz on the podium of Austria and then Lando Norris there and thereabouts? Hmm. And Ferrari were absolutely nowhere, were they? I know, I, don't, I know Leclerc managed to get a second place, didn't he? He managed to get a second place uh, from it. But that's mainly because he just stayed out of trouble, was in no incidents, and just uh, drove all the way through, kept himself to himself, and just, um, yeah, didn't break down. But Vettel, Vettel, he was, he was about 11th place, wasn't he? Yeah. Whoa. Right, OK. Going through. Going through. That's okay, Dion. I, you know, I, I don't know anything about a lot of stuff. Um, if everyone starts talking about American football or baseball, I wouldn't know anything about that. But there we go. There we go. But uh, you don't need to know anything about Formula One in this game. It's just overtaking cars essentially. I'm in, I'm in section two, but I've only got, I've only got eight seconds left. It seems. Hey, he's into section three. Is that the first time that's happened in the review? Oh, well, now I'm being blocked. Now that's going to cost me a bit of time. Pink Mercedes of the Racing Point. Yeah, they uh, the Racing Point made their car look like a Mercedes. Nigel Mansell lived near... I thought, wasn't Nigel Mansell... Didn't he live in the Isle of Man? I thought Nigel Mansell lived at the Isle of Man. Have I got that wrong? Or do you live in the Isle of Man? I think so. Yeah. But the, the cars were a lot dangerous back then, weren't they, the 90s? Uh, it's very, very safe now. Uh, you certainly wouldn't have got drivers aged 19 and 20 in the, uh, uh, the, the cars there. And um, you have to be a bit careful with your overtakes because, um, you know, you could, you, well, essentially you could die or get heavily injured. Now when they go for the overtakes, they know the chances of dying is, is, is remote. Right. Uh, okay. Endura, I do like, out of the two though, it's funny you should say that, Dave, although this game is good, out of the two for pure retroness, I would like um, Endura. The, um, the Spectrum games, the homebrews are quite clever, but they will never replace, for me at least, the, the retro gaming, although they're absolutely um, uh, brilliant. So yeah, that was a uh, 4K race. Um, so yeah, what did we say we we're going to look at? Yeah, we're going to look at a game called Badlands now by Domark uh, on the 128K. It was come out in 1990, so quite near the end of the ZX Spectrum's uh, run. Um, yeah, supercars, that's one we could uh, possibly um, uh, get there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of racers that are a bit near the knuckle, which were the best, weren't they? Ayrton Senna maybe cut people up a little bit. Um, Schumacher as well when he did those things on Damon uh, Hill. It seems to be the thing where they're so determined to win. I mean, I remember there was one year, wasn't there, where Rosberg won the championship. Hamilton um, slowed it right down to try and back Rosberg into the field so they would overtake him and he'd win, win, win the race. It's just, it's just something these people, people have. Um, yeah, that, I, I wouldn't trust them. I think it was a, I can't remember now, I think it was a sequel. I had, I had three games this, and this was the um, third one. I did, um, I did think about maybe um, bringing into the live stream Super Off-Road Racer, but uh, this one made it, so maybe we can have a look at that one uh, next time. Uh, right, so hopefully I can figure out how to play this one. The cars look a bit like Ecto-1 from uh, Ghostbusters. I don't think there's any ghosts in this low like there was on Gauntlet. Waiting for other player to join in. Well, that's a problem. There's no other player. Unless you want to join in. Oh dear, we're in the city. Oh dear. I think the keys are QAO and P and spacebar to shoot. I'm that blue car and I've taken so long to get going, I'm miles behind. Oh man. Right, it's one of those ones where glancing at the uh, the chat. Oh man, this sounds a bit weird. Glancing at the chat might cost me. I'll get out the way, green car. Now, with this game, it's all about picking up those yellow spanners that you can see. Because those will enable you to buy upgrades in the thing. 
Right, so I've already got a massive lead now in my floaty supercar. All the screens are on single screen. I do, it does move a lot faster than supercars and I think I do prefer it to supercars. There's another spanner for me to get. Right, so at the end of each, um, I don't know if it's like super off-road here where the speed of your opponent speeds up by determined on the level you win by. I don't think it is. I don't think it is, right. Crazy Ivan on the Nez. That might be something to do with um, Ivan's super off-road, maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Rightio, rightio. Go, go, go. Right, let, come on, let's speed through. So now, we've got, let's get um, tyres then. There we go, so we've got good tyres, but not too much speed. As we go off to the oil refinery. And it's a figure of eight. There's terrible colour clash when the cars come together. Looks like this race is going to be a little bit um, closer, I think. But I've got a top speed advantage. Oh dear me, he's got his left and right mixed up. But we won't worry. Oh, Nicky's done. What's Nicky done here? He's, he's done a boo-boo. He, he was miles in the lead then. Right, I think there's about three laps. So I need to, I need to get, I get, I need to get a, a move on. Maybe I can shoot them. Oh, look at that. That was a good, that was a good shot. I hit him with a missile. First place you need to get into here. Uh, anything low, lower than third place would be no good. Take it on the inside. He's back in the lead. As long as he doesn't get his left and right mixed up, he should be okay. Let's just say I did that on purpose to make it exciting. Oh god, that red car got in the way. He's done it again. Mm, Rightio. Rightio. La 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 la. Nick's good at driving games. It is the kiss of death. 47 is an old um, Krona Baggett. I always say you're not old unless you're in treble figures. So if anyone's watching this in treble figures, well then you are getting a bit old then. But anything, anything, anything lower, oh god, look at that. Anything lower than 100, then you're okay. You're doing super cool. Right. Uh, right. Uh, age is just a number. That's what, that's what Michael Douglas told Catherine Zeta Jones, I think. Uh, so he knows. He's been about. He knows stuff. You don't want to. You don't want to argue with him. Oh come on, Nick. come on! You got to speed up here. You got to speed up. Oh, I, sl I slid on some green stuff that slime rat Ghostbusters left behind. Oh, looks like I'm gonna meet my comeuppance here. It's all got a bit too tricky. I'm being held up by that green car, and the red car's got a massive lead now. This is a bit like when uh, Michael Schumacher and Eddie Irvine were in the same team, where the second player just, just uh, second driver just blocked, just blocked the first driver. Right, it's got to happen. It's got to happen here. If it don't happen now. I'm, I'm doomed, Bill. Oh no! Oh, I've got one lap left. He could do it. Yes. He's pulled this back from disaster. Go around there. I've got a massive lead now. Oh, he's, he's messed up there. Hooray! Free dog stock car racing games are really, really good. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, R2. I keep an eye on that one. Yeah, right, okay. Mm -hmm. 38, you have to at least be 40. <laughs> well, there we go. It's all, all, all different, all different games, isn't there, really? Right. It's also, as well, I find people call different things retro. Uh, as people now calling the PlayStation 2 retro, which I suppose it is really. But for re retro, for me, is like ZX Spectrum. Super Super Retro is the Atari 2600. But it is sort of like all it is all age based. Um, someone in their 20s now would not even register 8-bit games as a sort of like uh, as, as a thing, would they? Um, but uh, you know, I do like to look. I do like to look at everything. Right. That's why I've been uh, dipping my foot in a little bit with the. The the uh the nares and all those sort of ones. Oops, I've got lost under the bridge. Oh no, where am I? But you certainly wouldn't get lost under a, a, a bridge anywhere, right? The cars certainly sound a bit weird, don't they? Really, I, there's no cars I know that sound a bit like this. If the sounds, if you had Gran Turismo 42 on the PlayStation 9, whatever we're up to now, it would not sound quite like this. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. So hopefully I still should be live streaming by the age of 100. Um, I don't know if you saw in the news, I might I might cover it in um, the next uh, vlog, as I get stuck under the thing again. There's a woman aged 90 uh, that goes on to Twitch, and she's a, she's a, uh, a professional game player. Uh, she plays all the latest games uh, on the latest thing, and she's got 350 uh, subscribers, and she's aged 90. 
So there we go. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter a great deal. So you know, I'm always I'm halfway there. Uh, well, to 90, not the subscribers. So I possibly could uh, get there. Hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, I've got a PS2, but my PS2 doesn't uh, work at the moment. Yeah. Right, you're off for the Tottenham game, okay. Thank you for joining me, Top Shelf. I don't think that kicks off to quarter past eight, but uh, it's all about the build-up, isn't it, really? I hope it doesn't kick off to uh, quarter past eight, because other people in the house might be still in my bandwidth. But anyway, that, I've been told it's not to quarter past eight. But anyway, off we go. Well, uh, let's have another go on this one. We go round here. So after this game, we will be looking at, well, a very strange game that you might have come across before, you m most likely haven't done. It's called Cosmic Cosmic Kanga. It's basically a kangaroo, yes, a kangaroo, but in space. So a kangaroo in space has to wear a space suit, don't they? That's what they, that's, that's what they have to do. Right, okay. Um, Tottenham don't seem to be doing too well at the moment, do they? Um, they took a bit of a pounding in that last game, and they seem to be dropping like a stone. But anyway, but I, I can't, I can't shout. I, uh, I support Southend United, and uh, if you checked out their league position, they, it's not a very good season. Ah, and I think they're last. Well, not quite last. They're only not last because Bolton got deducted a load of points for some kind of uh, financial irregularity. Go Southend. Right. Okay. So. Off we go, the Badland Champions, as we're in our Cyan car. Uh, right, so, let's filter through. There we go, right. I've got a load of missiles, I shouldn't have done that, but anyway, that might help. Swansea City, yeah. Where is, oh yeah, Swansea aren't bad team. Yeah, that's okay. Good stuff. But, um, you know, like football nowadays, unless your team gets bought by someone that's a billionaire, you just can't compete, can you really? So then it's all about trying to get mid-table or stay up and all those all those sort of uh, things. But um, been a lot of uh, away wins at the moment because there's no there's no there's no crowd there. Oh, where did that helicopter come from? It come from the sky, and it yeah. Cosmic Cruiser, yeah, that's, that's a that's a good that's a good game to have a, a look at at some point. Well, that guy's got stuck. Let's uh, let's make a mental note of Cosmic Cruiser to have a look at on the live stream. We certainly certainly have covered it um, before, but not on the live stream. Nick, what snooker players do you like? Well, that's that's a very that's a very good question. Up the guess. Um, the um, snooker uh, snooker players. I like Jimmy White back in the day. He was good. Uh, I like any players that are a bit exciting because in the in the modern day era it's all a bit well sanitised, isn't it? Where there's professionalism in it, so you know it's obvious. Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the Rocket R Ronnie, which I think is named after a lettuce, I think, and also well Jimmy White is no longer playing, is he really? So it would it would have been him. So Rocket, the lettuce, O'Sullivan, Rocket, or whatever. I don't think it was named after a lettuce, but it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Uh, maybe through here. Yay! Good shortcut. Is that green stuff there before? Uh, uh, right, okay. So, whenever whenever someone does say a game in the comment section or any video, I do make a mental note of it or write it down. And sometimes I'll come to it quite quickly, and sometimes I might not come to it at all. Uh, but uh, the intention is to come to it. One game that was mentioned that might be a bit of a stinker quite recently was called uh, The Magic Roundabout, about on that ki based on that kid's show, Dougal and the Magic Roundabout. Uh, which I'm a little bit worried it might be a Jack and the Beanstalk sort of affair. Uh, but, um, you know, you might know a bit better on that one, but I'll look forward to coming to it nonetheless. Well, is it through here? To here? Paul, Paul, fantastic, thank you, Paul. Now you can do N64, should try a Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah, 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 good do. And, oh, that's amazing, thank you, Paul. Wowzers, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing what a huge difference to me something like that um, actually, actually um, uh, makes, Paul. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's, all about, it's all about confidence, really, what I can and can't afford, but stuff keeps coming in like that. Um, fantastic, thank you, Paul. Awesome. Good, there will be another live stream um, that's taking me a bit of back there. Thank you, Paul, as your name goes to the top. Um, there will be a live stream going up tomorrow as well. Um, as I say, if I get time tonight, it will be late if I do get time. Um, it won't be scheduled in, but I will try and test the Atari 2600. And I'm long overdue trying to test doing the, um, trying to do the um, uh, Commodore 64 as well. 
have a look at some basic games. It would be good to have a look at Buggy Boy. Hopefully it doesn't blur up too much. But that's the whole point of testing. It'll probably just be for an hour and then I'll, I'll, I'll watch it back or if anyone meets that at random and happens to be in the comment section and tells me it's too loud or it's not blurry, it's not acceptable, then the LCR will have to rethink and maybe only do that when the internet gups gets um, upgraded. So good, 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 good. So we'll have, we'll have one last go at this, then we will zip into a uh, cosmic uh, kanga. I can't hear the football on in the other room, so that seems to be okay so far. And the streams held together quite well. I haven't noticed any lag on my side. Generally, there might be a little bit at some point during uh, there. Uh, yeah, okay. How many times did Stephen Hendry win the uh, the World Championship? Was it about seven times? See, the thing with sport is, I, I, I really like sport, but I don't like it when one player is dominating the whole time. I mean, I can forgive tennis because there's a few of them been up there for quite some time, isn't there? Like uh, Rafael Nadal, um, Jokiev uh, as well, and Murray was there as well, and there's also like um, uh, sharing, sharing it. Um, and they've been up there for quite some time. So I don't mind that. It's when one person is dominating. Like, I like Michael Schumacher as a racer, but I didn't like him winning all the races really, really easily. And the first time I sort of like noticed that happening was Nigel Mansell in 1992, with that Williams, back in uh, much uh, better days uh, uh, there. But anyway, there we go. Uh, the snooker, is, who, who's the world champion at the moment? Is it, um, is it Jed Trump is the, is the, uh, is the future, is the, uh, is the uh, champion? I know John Higgins has won a few times, but my knowledge on um, is is not uh, great on uh, snooker. We've reviewed quite a lot of snooker games on the ZX Spectrum. I think Steve Davis was one, but it wouldn't. I don't think it would make a very good live stream, would it, snooker? I think darts darts we can get away with it uh, there. It, it is Judge Trump, is it? Yeah. Um, we can get away with it in darts, but um, snooker I think might be a little bit dull. And my favourite snooker game of all time is on the Commodore Amiga, and that's Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. Uh, and Archie McLean's Paul as well was the same sort of engine. I think that has come out on the Mega Drive, so I need to I need to come to that as well. Ha Nick, have you played Turbo Charge on the Commodore 64? I haven't, Atu, but um, Atu, but I think I, I will do. Haven't co covered Commodore 64 for quite some time, but I have got the emulation on that. And now that I'm going to try and um, test the uh, live stream of that, I think it might be well worth trying to do a few of those as well. But it's trying to fit those in. On the Thursday slot at the moment, we've been rotating between um, uh, SNES and Nintendo 64. On Sunday, we started doing um, Atari uh, 2600. I could rotate that with Commodore 64 and something else, uh, but there, there we go. But I want to do more live streams as well. But as one person on their own, uh, you have to be mindful. You have to be mindful of um, not burning out. So um, that's why these live streams gives me a bit of energy there as, as well, especially the especially the super chats and the memberships as well is great. It takes takes the stress off. So thank you there. Right. So this is my last go. It's magenta and red stage. Um, a game uh, did go up uh, live today, which you might not have uh, seen. It seems to be always in competition now with um, the live stream, what people watch. But uh, if you're into your Mega Drive, I know um, most of you are more into the Spectrum than your, than your Mega Drive. But a classic went up earlier on today, um, Sonic. Uh, the Hedgehog uh, went up, which is my own duff gameplay, so I might be a bit behind answering the comments on that at the moment. Uh, Mega did have some good uh, good snooker games, Francesco, you are right. Oh, I got stuck on the side there. Jimmy, Jimmy, dee -dee -dee -dee. right, round the bend we go, round the bend we go. Yeah, it's good, it's good fun, this, it's good fun, this, really, isn't it, really? Try and keep you all revolved, uh, try and keep it as fun as possible. On this live stream, unlike a lot of others, you can't see my face at the moment, but uh, hopefully that summit is fixed. But you might prefer not seeing my face. Uh, it'd only be a little square down the uh, down the the bottom, really, with some maybe green screen at the back and maybe some sort of template. But we go into the desert. But uh, it's just um, because we're on 360p, there's less there's less chance. Well, I've got to give the um, internet less work to do. If it hasn't got to um, draw my face on the whole thing, then we're we've got a better chance of surviving the two hours. Am I doing a bit better? Oh, I need to go around there. I need, need to take a shortcut into Doom then. Looks like the other two cars have got a little bit stuck. This looks like mine to lose. What are they doing there? They're doing a little dance. They're doing a little Russian dance, they are. Right. Maybe I can help them. Oh, no, don't so say I'm getting... I'm gonna get stuck on there now. Oh, no. They've blocked the only way out. This is like some... No, I'm through. I thought it was, thought it was gonna be like some crazy Dukes of Hazard game then. On the good old boys, do, 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 do. Dukes of Hazard. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my review on uh, that one. Uh, right. Uh, I think I might be lost. Um, 
Oh, look at those. What's going on there? That's that's gone that's gone, that's gone, that's gone wrong usually. It's spinning cars. It's like it's like celebrity come dancing, but with cars. Oh man. This could be the end of the. Oh, that's got round there, right? Okay. So where do I go now? Up here. I go up here, and that's be the finishing line, should it? Or have we got another lap? Oh, another lap. I think I've got terribly lost in here. One more lap to go, maybe. Who knows? Right, your voice is your fortune. Have I got a good commentary voice? I never know. Sometimes I think I'm doing okay, and sometimes I feel I'm not doing okay. I suppose there's always going to be it's always going to be moments of doubt, isn't there, and stuff. But uh, you know, I'd like to I'd like to do something on the beat. I tell you, one of my uh, my favourite commentators, which is not quite like me, is Matt Berry. He's got a good uh, voice. Good, I finished it. Good. But I'd love to do adverts. Shop at insert name here. I won't say the name because then they'd be getting a free advert. If they can watch that then um, super duper stuff. Right, okay. So, uh, I'm almost running out of time to do Cosmic Kangaroo, aren't I? Anyway, but we'll probably die quite soon in this one because I know a lot of you like kangaroo games. Nick, when's the kangaroo games you say? Well, Nick, why don't you ever do kangaroo games? Well, I, I did co I did Cosmic Kangaroo on the ZX Spectrum and the, and the Commodore 64. Can I fit through here? No. Oh, I did fit through. How did I fit through there? Anyway, find the narrowest of margins. If you are a kangaroo, comment below. Uh, if you've been into space as a kangaroo, then um, yeah. I do love the comment section. It uh, gets a bit of activity on the channel. If we zip through here. Right. So I do appreciate you stopping by. I don't know if you've seen the whole stream or just stopped for a little bit, because I know there's lots of choices available. So I'm really pleased that you stopped by on this one. Right, uh, right, off we go. Uh, what's the day today? Monday. Tuesday we tend to have a day off of live games going up, but there will be another live stream. Wednesday there'll be a homebrew. I'll try and find a good one for you. Uh, members, um, they already know what that's going to be, because they would have seen the, uh, the, the video of that. Um, okay, Paul Whitehouse, he's my hero. What was that, what's that character you did in the Fast Show? Jumpers for goalposts. Isn't it? Lovely, wasn't it? Ron Manager, wasn't it? Yeah. 11 men, each side, jumpers for coal posts, 90 minutes, or oh, wasn't it, isn't it, marvellous. Yes, there we go. If you haven't seen the far show, you'll think I just uh, got into a bit of trouble there. Right, through we go. Brilliant. As he said, oh, look at that, he lost that. I thought I was going to win then. Yeah. Good, good. I'd, I'd be good as a bingo caller. All the fives, 555,555,555.5555. I think I've got it. On its own, 62. Um, doctor's orders, um, 11. Um, um, legs, 111. Yeah, I, c I could do bingo, I'd love that. Eyes down, I'd be a great bingo caller. That's a, that's a good, that's a good shout, that is. Get ready for your bingo. Maybe we can do, maybe you can do a bingo on here. I'd send you all a bingo card, I'd announce the numbers, and what would the winner get? I, I don't know. Maybe a big hooray. Um, yeah, clickety-click, arthritis. That's one of them, isn't it? Or was it 33? 66. Yeah, right, so let's have a look at some kangaroo games. Cosmic Kangar. I'm going into quiz show. I'd, I'd love to be a quiz show host as well. I'd love to do that. Your bullies are safe. Do you take the gamble? Mm, right, uh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's true, Dave. Unless, unless I cheated with the bingo cards. Uh, Cosmic Kangar. Oh, Cosmic Kangar with a K, didn't it? Not a C. In, in this version of the game, anyway. Right. Hmm. Dan Dare 1. Dan Dare is a great game. Um, I think I, quite recently in the last few days, um, I, I think it might have been last week actually, I put a, a short gameplay on there but with no commentary on, uh, which I sometimes do to try and G up a bit of activity. Hopefully I can redefine the keys on this one. I don't think I can. Uh, I think it's A, Z, M and N. So this game is a bit crazy. Time me kangaroo down. If you've had this game, let me know. You play some jumping kangaroo. Now you won't know what the hell's going on here. But anyway, A's do a big jump, Z's do a small jump, and we've got to avoid all these obstacles like the bombs, right? Bomb the place. I'll go over here, and you could fire as well, right? Uh, right, so I've taken that out. Is this the best game you've ever seen? It did come out on the Commodore 64 as well. Um, uh, it's not as good as the Dan Dare games, which you're all talking about there. Not as good as the Dan Dare games. But each Dan Dare game is completely different from each other, isn't it, really? Have you seen that? I think Dan Dare 3, if you've seen that one, it's um, it's like an exhibition game. That The graphics on that remind me a little bit of Savage. Um, they've really gone to t really gone to town on it. Yeah. 
Whoa. Now this is the craziest game ever. Uh, oh, so I've crashed into an airplane there. So don't ask me why the kangaroo is, is massively bigger than everything else on the screen, because I do not know. Don't ask me why a cosmic kangaroo, kangaroo is bigger than a van, because I don't know that either. Let's try and get through here. I'll get under these. There we go. That's that's cosmic kangaroo. Uh, Q to do a high jump, Z to do a small jump, and you can fire like that. Uh, if you get off to the, the level, then you find another level. Um, right. So, did you have this one back in the day? If you have, you've probably taken it out of my out of my memory. Julie, this is your favourite game of the stream. Well, it's, it, is, it is certainly a little bit mad. Because you get games in the 8-bit world that just had no right to really, really um, survive anywhere else. It's heaps of fun for everyone, uh, except the person playing it. Ah, let's get down there. Right, okay. Oh, is, that, is that thing going to kill us? If you hit any of the obstacles or the bombs, then that is... Oh, I hit a bomb there. Right. The kangaroo is very stiff. He doesn't move at all. It's one solid graphic. It looks like someone made this as a joke, uh, and then someone else walked into the room and said, "Yeah, that's good enough. Let's uh, let's turn that into a game." And that's what happened. But it came out on the Commodore 64 as well. I don't know if it came out on the um, on the Amstrad CPC. Yeah, a HD remake. Yeah, well that'd be good. I think it should be turned into a film as well. What do you think? Uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson could play the kangaroo, or someone else, maybe. Maybe you might fancy it. Oh, can I get under here? Boing, 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 jump. There we go. Ooh, oh, I thought that thing was going to kill me. It didn't. If you get points for collecting the obstacles, obviously you need to get to the end. But this is why retro gaming is so brilliant, isn't it? You, you, won't see, you might see this on mobile gaming, I suppose, but the ZX Spectrum was where it is. Um, we're running out of time drastically, but I will put a poke on it just so we can see at least the end of level one. If I, there's a poke. Yeah, there's two pokes. Um, invincibility. Let's try that one. Because you'll be kicking yourself if you never see the end of this game, or at least the first stage, and then you'll have to play it yourself. Well, uh, hopefully I can um, save you the, the, the bother. It's cosm cosmic kangaroo time, which means it's a, a kangaroo in uh, space. Hooray! Right. This poke might work, it might not. Kangaroo down. Time it kangaroo down. Right. Booze. That is quite right, Jametron. That's a that's a cool that's a cool name, Jame Jametron. I like that. Right. Let's go through. Oops, I seem to have lost my special skills. When I say that, I've lost how to control the... Oh, it's invincible now. Okay. So we can just go through everything with Super Colour Clash. Uh, when it goes through stuff, it does look like it's a game by Microgen. They loved that sort of thing, didn't they? A bit of Colour Clash. But uh, that's what made Microgen games so good. Um, I've never seen a game with quite as much Colour Clash as Three Weeks in Paradise. Now, we haven't covered... Um, many of the uh, Microgen games in the stream so far. I had a look at Auto Mania, which is a bit painful to play, but I haven't had a look at everyone's a Wally, Pajama Rama, or any of those. That's maybe one we can do. You're welcome, Jane Tron. I just love saying that name. Jane Tron won. Hooray! Right, okay. As we get onto the top of the hotel, boof. Right. Uh, Nick, is there a list made of the game you play on stream? There is. I do have a list of games here, and I try and get through them. There was a res I always have a reserve as well, in case one wouldn't work. Uh, the reserve this time would have been, if we had time left over, would have been uh, Hungry Horace, which is another maze game. But we've, we've played a quite a lot of maze games, haven't we, uh, today? Uh, Escape. Was that two hours ago we played Escape? It's, it seems quite recently, but also at the same time, it seems like another day ago. Uh, I think we're firing boxing gloves here. Right, now, that Kung Fu um, Master, that did have a sequel called Kung Fu... I might be getting games mixed up now, called Kung Fu 2. And there's a homebrew called Wudang, which I've been meaning to come to. That come from a recommendation, so I, I need to come to Wudang. This is stage 2, and you might think it looks a little bit similar to stage 1. And the reason behind that is, um, it, 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 it is. Right. I'm going to take you to another dimension. Play close attention. Right, right. Right, um, I seem to think that two hours is a good a good amount of time for a stream. Obviously, I can't go too much longer today because um, 
uh, well, um, internet and the people going to watch the football, which we're 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 getting dangerously close uh, now. But um, yeah, once I've upgraded the internet, if I ever get confident enough to do so, this is slowly coming together. Uh, then uh, yeah, that's good because once I've done that, of course, then I can. Well, every system that I've reviewed on the channel, I can potentially do in a live stream. Hurrah! And then I'll be professional then, won't I? But, as they say, you know that in that Karate Kid where he was doing wax on, wax off for weeks and he was saying, look, I just want to fight. Why am I doing this waxing on and waxing off? And then by the end of that, he was a top karate fighter. I'm hopefully in all my struggles up to this point, all the years and then uh, gradually building this up, hopefully this is my wax on, wax on, off moment. I'm doing waxing. There we go. Right. Um, let's not talk about waxing. It might go in the wrong, wrong place. Right. Thanks, Julie. I'm glad they sound professional. I think I, the, the microphone never, all well, that's okay, but it's, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know really. You always want to make things better, I suppose. Right. Boing. Da, 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 da. Should I, um, it's pushing it a bit. Should I try and squeeze in Horace, Hor Hungry Horace right at the end? Should I? Should I try and squeeze that in? What do you think? Do you want to see, what's this? Do you want to see Hungry Horace before the end? It will be, it will be a quick go of Hungry Horace, then we'll say goodbye before the, bro all the, um, all the, uh, for all the, what's the name, broadband goes, or the bandwidth. Oops, I got hit by a potato. Looks like the invincibility doesn't work here. Do we need to get up the top? Right. Uh, Nick has the skills. Well, yeah, hopefully. I tend to, I tend to work better, I tend to work better skill-wise on, um, on the driving games. I suppose it's because it's quite obvious what you need to do at that point. Oh, I think we need to go up. Do we need to go up? No, I don't know. Right, uh, the level scroll up. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, if this was, I'm sure, oh, right, okay. Thank you very much. Right, so, thank you for your assistance. Oh, he's fallen down. Right. Street hassle. Yeah, I haven't got that queued up, unfortunately. I was going to maybe give them a folder, but we'll, we'll look at, let's write that down. I'll look at Street Hassle tomorrow, Francesco. I'll look at Street Hassle, friend, uh, tomorrow. Um, oh, we're pretty much at the end. Um, look, one last, look. Of uh, course, you've been so good, and the, and the super chats have been coming in. We'll just have one last go. We'll squeeze it in quickly before I, I lose my internet. It might end a bit abruptly here, but hopefully it won't. Let's, let's just do Hungry Horace. We'll have a quick go in, and then we'll be uh, there. Driver on the PS1. I do have that game. The, the tricky bit with Driver is, um, is is getting past that underground bit at the start. Once you've once you've done once you've done that, uh, the game opens up. But sometimes it's been ages. Right. Okay. One quick go on this. So there's Horace. It wouldn't be a live stream about Horace. Uh, what's down? I've forgotten what down is. There we go. Q, A, O and I. Right. So you don't necessarily need to uh, get all the pills to get off the stage. Driver is an awesome game. Uh, uh, Driver 2 was quite good as well. It had a few, had a few sequels, didn't it, really? Um, now, this game was by William Tang uh, in 1982. So it is a quite an early ZX Spectrum game. Influenced by uh, Pac-Man, of course as a lot of them uh, were. Uh, some of the stages are a bit flawed as you get near the end. I don't think they're quite possible uh, to do. So I thought you'd like that one, Gumdio. So we're gonna end here. It wasn't scheduled to do, it was my reserve one, but it will take us to the, uh, the, the, the two hours. So hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Go, Horace, go. He's, he's, he's a diva, isn't he, this fella? We're being chased by park rangers as opposed to uh, ghosts, which would have been in uh, Pac-Man. Can I get the rest of this stuff? And they're going to turn into rangers again. Right, okay. Ranger Smith. I used to have nightmares about these two guys. Now, it's this it's this level that's a little bit flawed. Uh, it's very hard to um, uh, get back here. Pac-Man was by Namco in the arcades in 1980. And then there was a flood of maze games because obviously everyone then thought, look, free rangers. I'm not going to be able to get through. I'm not going to... Look, this is... Look. Right, maybe I can sort this out. Maybe. I can get trick two people to come around here. No. Oh, give me a break, fellas. Give me a break. Right, so ideally you can only do this if there's like one ranger. As soon as another ranger turns up, it's sort of like game over. And also, of course, you need to go... Yes, here we go. Right, so we need... the only chance really is if we can... Yeah, and also he moves a lot slower. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, this game is good up until this point. I think I've done it a few times, but as I say, you need a bit of luck. You need one ranger on the end here, right now, and he's he's going to catch me up at a hell of a lick. So this is the only chance. Oh, he's gone round again. That helps. He's gone round again. Right now, 
It looks like we've done it, but if another ranger turns up at the top there immediately, we're doomed. He's done it, I think, is he? There's another ranger at the bottom. I think we're okay. Right, good. That never happens to me. Um, bye, Han Solo. There we go. Right, okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, thanks for joining the stream, Han Solo. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. As everyone, I'm always thankful for watching because there's, there's always a chance when I put these up that no one, no one logs in at all. Uh, we, we, you know, and that would be that would be sort of like uh, disastrous, really. So I think we will we will end that one there. That was two hours, and boy, did it go super, super duper fast. So hopefully that eased a bit of stress for you. Just quickly, we looked at Escape, Gauntlet, Mooncrester, Oh Mummy, Akari Warriors, uh, 4K Race Refueled, Badlands, and Cosmic Kanga. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Um, don't worry, though, there will be another live stream there, so if people are trying to get over to the football, I'll let you do that. And you've been wonderful. You've been absolutely wonderful, as you are on every stream. Uh, thank you once again to the people that did the uh, super chats that really that really does help me and gives me something to do others because I'm always thinking should I do less should I do more that keeps happening that keeps happening so till next time take great care of yourself um, I see you saying goodbye there so I will say that as well take great care of yourself Francesco Dion everyone there Julie Tom uh, Dave have a great evening and um, yeah have a good day tomorrow power to you till next time take care of yourself and bye bye <laughs>